Little Blood TV back again with another Little Blood TV exclusive. Powered by Talker Media, of course. Um, this definitely exclusive. Let me see how I'm going to do this intro. So, um, years ago, I met this young man. You feel me? My first time meeting this young man. And um, not to just go too off, far off in the deep end. Um, dog. Good brother. Um what could I say? Damn near like on some prophet shit. Um, me and his brother have conversations and we uh, have conversations on uh, levels that most people don't have. And what I mean by that, we don't talk about uh, rap beefs. We don't talk about rap music. We don't talk about bitches. Uh, you know, we build. Um, I heard man sharpen man like steel sharpen steel. So I build with this brother a lot. And um, as of late, this brother's been like um, the talk, like, and I don't even want to just put it out yeah, there, like, you know. it's just a talk um, in a negative way because through music and whatever it is he do, like, he's a uh, well respected cat, and um, like I said, he's just a, a good talk about cat, um, whether it's positive or negative, and um, you know, the brother hit me up um, a few weeks back. Like, bro, what's up, bro? We really going to do it this year? Whoop, whoop, whoop. And change of events. Here we are again. So I said that to say this just ain't no sit down because of um, no, hooty, all, hooty, whop yeah. and whoop, whop, whop and all that. It's not none of that. Like, this was already in the making. So um, I introduced to some and present to others. Hustlers, how you doing, brother love? I'm doing good, bro. Yes, salam. sir. How you doing, brother? Salam. 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 Hus. Um. Let's breathe on this for a minute, because I never really heard you openly talk about it. Um, the Jack. It's going to be, first of all, let me get a little bit in there. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of, you know, we don't do too many interviews. Mm -hmm. We don't do too much, you know. We don't really, we not, I'm not really, you know, I never really promoted music too much. I never had posters. I never had videos too much, none of that. We just did what we did for, you know, for the purpose of uh, enjoyment. We enjoyed what we did, you know, we, we had a passion for music and art and creating art. And, uh, you know, all this is new to me. There's new air and, you know, getting in front of these cameras. You know, I act right. a fool, I used to act a fool. You know, when I was young, getting act a fool to trill TVs and all that and acting right. funny, you know, all that, doing all the, but you know, I've been on a whole journey since that whole process, you know what right, I mean? Right. From being a, you know, it's basically like you looking at somebody that was a child soldier, mm. you know what I mean, that went through a whole plethora, anything you can imagine, you know what I'm saying? From violence to uh, incarceration, you know, uh, spiritual enlightenment, you know what I'm saying? The dean, learning the dean, learning my history, learning militancy, learning all these different factions, and things that makes a man a man. Right. And be on the path of manhood, but at the same time being perceived as a rapper or whatever they think I am, you know what I'm right. saying? Whatever, right. you know, whatever idea these people had in their head, you know, you, you know, you can't control, you know, it's always three entities when you meet a person. It's who I think you are, who you think you are, mm -hmm. and who you really are. Right, right, right. And the same with me. Who I think I am, who you believe me to be, and who I really am. Yeah, you really are. So that's why all the confusion goes on in the world when people think they know somebody, you know, like the old mob figure song. You, you don't know me like you think you do. Right, right, You know right. what I'm saying? Because not everybody wear they, you know, their thoughts and their actions on their sleeve, or not everybody is outspoken, and not everybody is vocal about what goes on in life. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't know nothing about me. And that's for a reason because I believe uh, you mind your own, you live long. Yes, sir. I believe that's why we that don't too. speak on other people and all that, and having a you know putting a, putting another man name in your mouth and all that. You ain't never heard me make no diss songs, get no. We don't do that, bro. I come from a different. You get what I'm saying? I come right. from. Different not club. saying I'm better than nobody, right, none right. of that. But just I'm just different principles. I have a different protocol that I that right. I'm up under that I that I adhere to, and I and I take pride in my track record and. and you know, from from whatever you want to look at it from any perspective, you know what I'm saying? And but um, we get in that, bro. I definitely agree to that, but I'm gonna tell you, nigga, this little blood TV and not hustler TV. And you cut me off one more time, nigga, it's gonna be four motherfuckers <laughs> that you, who I think you is, and uh, I'm just yeah. fucking with you, bro. Nah, that's but, all, um, you know, yeah. you know it's love. But um, what I was asking, and I'm glad you um put that out there. But what I was asking is, um, I just wanted to get your brief, just a little brief, little um tweak on the jack um uh, like i said i've never heard you speak about it at all like um, okay yeah. i just want to know just quick like um how did that affect you when we lost our brother um we lost we had a bro we had another brother named by the name of freak i know you heard it back shout he was basically freak. part of the mob figure yes, sir. Shout, was, out you know, he, shout out my brother freak man we lost him and it was kind of it was like that all over again mm -hmm. 
because he was one of our very dear loved ones that we, you know, we that's what, you know, everything we built was from the ground was with them. You right, know right, what I mean? right, so right, right. when you got a, a core group of people who, you know, we very close knit. We from a small town. You know what I mean? We from a very small town. Pittsburgh, California, you know what I'm saying? El Pueblo area. You know what I'm saying? El Pueblo housing area, you know what I'm saying? And uh East Contra Costa County, you know what I mean? It's it's you know, it wasn't a lot. But, you know, it's a lot of culture, it's a lot of pride in our community, you know what I'm saying? And we and we take pride on being, you know, solid and stand up individuals. We got we don't have a lot of issues that other communities have. Mm-hmm. It's mostly family based. So everybody over there is like on some one hundred. You can't really fake around the P because it's like right, 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 you know right. what I mean? You can't be on no you can't be on no faking in front. So everybody's one hundred with each other out there, you know what I mean? Right. right so when right. we lost when we lost Hey, hey. Okay, yeah. So when we lost, when we lost Jack, man, it was like losing Freak again. It was like even right. more devastating because it was like it was. You know what I'm saying? We lost, we lost Freak. We lost Freak, little brother. We lost. It was a lot going on. We lost. You know what I mean? We've been, you know, in this game, you gonna, you gonna, yeah, we've been dealing with a lot of different hard, hard ones. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So, um, um, initially when Jack passed, it kind of was like, you know, being the kind of person who don't really deal with emotions. You know, you, you, you. You get raised and not deal with emotions. They tell you when you're young, you know what I'm saying, gangsters don't got no emotions, you know what I mean? Because you get get out your feelings and all that, you know, all these different sayings and whatnot. And, you know, you got a mission, you got you got a protocol, you got, you got you, you know what you're doing. Right. Emotions don't got nothing to do with that, you know what I'm That's saying? Right. So me being raised like that, I felt like I, it made me endure without, you know what I mean, being burnt out, you know what I'm saying? It's, I'm still handsome, extremely handsome, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm... I don't let things get to me like that. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. People go to drink and drugs. I got people that go to, you know what I'm saying? I got friends that do heroin. I got friends that do, you know what I'm saying? It's right. because of, because these streets are, are, can can damage your spirit. Yeah, say that. Say these that. streets can damage your spirit. You know say what I'm saying? That. So when Jack passed, it damaged my spirit in a certain way that I, I didn't really, you know, because I'm so used to, you know what I'm saying? It's part of the game. You got to keep going. You got to keep moving. But I kind of look back at it and it's like, I didn't do no more music as much as I wanted to because right. my brother not there. Right. So it's affecting me in other ways. Right. And then right. on the other side, the fans are like, bro, why are you not keeping it going? And woo was like, bro, you gotta understand me and bro started when we was 12, 13 years old. We started 12, 13 years old making music, bro. You know what I'm saying? Literally, real talk. Not no, this ain't like no, you know what I'm saying? We got right. songs at that age, bro, and doing all this music up to where Sebo discovered us, to where it got we went from literally just some Dusty little dudes, you know what I'm saying, that all the girls like, you know what I'm saying, that doing a little music in a little small town, bro, to, you know, all across the world, all across the, the Do you know, feel um, part of your interest in music left when, when, bro? Definitely. I definitely didn't want to, wasn't in the mood for music because, right. you know what I'm saying, I did a few shows and without him, it just didn't feel right, bro. You right. know what I mean? It right. just didn't feel right, you know what I'm saying? Um, A tweak for a minute. It's a lot of Bay Area lists and Bay this, Bay this, Bay this, Bay that, right? Ooh, top this, top this, top this. Um, I don't never really see them give, you know, the mob figures or even Hus like, you know, the credit that deserve. And I've never, like, heard you, like, even acknowledge that type of shit. Like, you well, feel because me? you got to realize, bro, I didn't do music to make money, bro. I uh, never did music to make money, bro. I never did music to, to, to be cool. I never did music to... To be that guy and none of that, bro. I just did music because I, I I enjoy making music, mm-hmm. and I you know and I feel like what we did if people took from it or, you know, you know how people say people stealing from me and doing all my stuff. Like if we want that because we want everybody to be dope, we want the best of people, bro. We Muslims, we want for people what we want for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? You want for your brother what you want for yourself, bro. Right. So I, why would I sit here and you know it is what it is. Right. And 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 and, and to add to that, the kind of music we did was always orientated to the to the, to the darkest, we try to give our dawah to the darkest of the, the most desolate places. Right. Because we come from a small town, not a lot of opportunity, not a lot to do, not nobody, you know what I'm saying? Not right. a lot of finance around, Not you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know, it wasn't really a lot, you know what I'm saying? It was a beautiful town, it was beautiful people, but as far as, you know, the the the, the society's idea of success, you know, cars and all that, it's, you know, people not on that. It's like we're, 
We a working community. We got some few hustles. That we got some hustles. We got some. You know what I mean? Right, right. We hard. We hard working people. We fight with hands. You know what I'm saying? We don't got too much gun violence. You know what I'm saying? The, you know the younger generation, of course, they pick that yeah, up. It's but tweaky right we now. come from hands. And, you know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We finna get down. You yes, know what I mean? I'm gonna meet yes, you at, at the basketball game, bro. At Pitt High. I'm finna. You know what I mean? I'm gonna meet you. Whatever. We are gonna meet at the marina. All the Pittsburgh people know what I'm talking about. You know right. what I mean? That's what, so. When you grow up in that kind of hand to hand combat and realness, and you can't fake, you don't really you don't look for no approval because it's like I already made it to where I'm. You know what I'm saying? People know who I am. People know right. my bloodline. People know my family. They know my father. They know where I come from. So that's kind of what when they make those lists, or they, you know what I mean? We for the streets, bro. Right. The right. Jack right. is for the streets, bro. People that love Jack, they he he got a certain level. But Jack is for the streets, bro. Sure. Jack is for the people who 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 say Jack gave me a coat, bro. Yes, I was black. I was just thinking that. Jack gave me a hat, that. bro. Yes, Jack sir. gave me gave me a zip of weed, bro. Yes, sir. I asked him could I hit his weed. That's he crazy. gave me a zip. You know what I mean? Jack that's pulled crazy. up with me. Jack did. The, you know what I'm saying? That's what his. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to do this to you, bro. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the music gonna be in your heart. It's already in your heart. So it's a different. You know, we not a commercial. We never was commercial, bro. We right. wasn't, you know, we wasn't here for radio. We wasn't pilot. We wasn't doing it. Well, this is what you need to do. We didn't have no manager. Our manager is our friend, bro. Right. PK right. is our friend, bro. We went right. to, he was our friend, bro. Let me. Um, Three dudes with a lot of money that said we're going to do music. That's all it was, bro. Let me um, drop this shit in low for a minute, right? Yeah. And um, sensitive subject, but um, it is what it is. Um so about an hour ago, when you arrived, we was building this shit, and um, you let me read some documents. And, indeed, um, indeed. And the documents I read, and it's not being biased, it's not being nothing, and um, we're not about to act like um, this is not an issue, but for some years now, um, like, motherfuckers been slandering the fuck out you, right? There I go. And, um, yeah. like, I've never, like, I ain't never seen you tweak, I've never seen you... Um, like, lose no sleep, like, nothing. Like, you feel me? Kept your truth to truth. Through the yeah, shit. I mean, truth to truth. Yeah. Right. And um, um, the truth to truth, I'm glad you said that, because we had a conversation earlier where a big, a good brother of ours was like, you know, the truth is the truth, but a fact, you can debate the fact. Exactly. You feel me? Yeah. Exactly. And that kind of woke my game he stuck up. with me, too, bro. Yeah. yeah like, shout out to your boy, bro. I don't know if you want to say his name, but shout him out. You feel me? Yeah, shout, shout out to him, him out, bro. Shout out to Soul Stripper. You already know what's going on, That's big bro. Like, brother, bro. That's deep brother, bro. Deep brother. And um, I love your life, but um, um, uh, people have been slandering the fuck out you. And um, like I said, I was able to read some documents in depth, like in depth, depth. And when I mean in depth, I mean like like I read shit and I seen seals. This is what I've seen. Like this is what he vouching for. Him. This, ain't got, nothing this exactly. ain't got shit to do with nobody's opinion. Nobody's. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That's not my business. But what I seen with my own eyes and the seals and me being around for this long and dealing with um, incarceration and dealing with snitches and backstabbers and you know everything that come with this life and um. What I seen is very, very different from what I hear on the internet or, you know, I've been hearing for all these years. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you how deep you want to breathe into it, but like I said, coming from me, it's not, it doesn't add up. And like I said, what I've seen, I've seen from the gate that, you know, you ask for lawyers. I've seen from the gate. Um, that, you know, you didn't give any statements. And I'm letting y'all know what I read. I'm not being... Um, on his side, because he's right here. None of that. I'm not doing none of that. I'm letting y'all know what I seen with my eyes and names that was thrown around. And it's kind of like, damn, like they're switching characters. They don't like, even know shit. what they, they, like, they, they, like they, they digging. They don't understand. I come from a history that's real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? We're right, talking, right, about, right, we're right. talking about dirt. Right, 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 right. You know right. what I mean? Right, so, right, right. You know, when you, you know. One second, one second. Go ahead, bro. And, I really don't know how to really speak on it because in these documents I've read and I've seen, this is not your typical standing on the corner drug dealer. This is not the typical nigga like you can go buy a zip or two from. Like this shit I've read, like I'm saying, what I've read and what I've just seen, like it's millions and millions of dollars and 300, 400 keys and like all type of little crazy shit that, you know, a motherfucker see on a movie. 
You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm reading this and I'm seeing certain shit and reading certain names and certain incidents and shit to where like, you know, bro, I'm going to keep it a hundred with you. Like after I was reading it, I had to tell bro, like, I don't know how, you know, you can even speak on or just play with this because like this is some life or death shit and people been died over this shit. Like it's, this shit is murders. This shit is kidnapping. This shit is millions and millions and millions of dollars. And I don't think... Um, Y'all really understand what I'm saying. This is not no, um, like I said, this is not uh, uh, bro was on a wiretap. Nah, this is none of that. These are informants. These are, you feel me, cartels and all type of little different tweaky shit. And, um, shit coming up missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, for really. you to be that young at that time, like to be dealing with that and standing on type of shit and, um, and what I see and what I've been hearing for years and years, it just don't add up. You get what I'm saying? And you see, you see, I, how did I handle the situation? I mean, since you presented like with I, your, like you I, like I, like I handled the shit. I'm talking about the situation. Like when you talking about that life I was in, mm -hmm. oh, you see my from, conduct. From, yeah. You know from what, I mean? what I've seen, like GOD, like, like I said, from what I've seen and you know, you can believe me or not from what I've seen and what I've read, like you was in pocket. So, and guess what? Me? Was anything redacted? Was anything covered yeah. up? Was it, we talking about the discovery? We talking about sealed yeah. United States discoveries, bro. Yeah. We not talking about no all this, mean this, look behind yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. No, we got the we we know who said what and who did what. Right, right, right. You dig right. and who not here and who, you know what I'm saying. First of all, I'm gonna end with that. Everybody on my case is dead. That's another thing. So how quiet it got right there. Like that's yeah. real shit, bro. What I look like speaking on something that deep, bro, to the internet to these nerves that ain't even never, you know what I mean. I done heard people talk about what they think they know and they never even been to prison, brother. Right, right, So right. you can't beat that net, bro. And I, right. you know, long as my, like my big brother say, he say, long as your real folks know what's happening with you, bro. Right, right, You can't right. never, you know what I'm saying? They gonna always, you know what I mean? It's, right, right. We, and I don't even like saying that like, because this, it's like, that's a, a whole cliche, bro. Fuckers always hate on the player. This is a 20 something year process, bro. And mm -hmm. for years and years and years, like, Niggas, you've been getting slandered, you've been getting this, and I've never heard you like speak on it just on a personal conversation on a level. I've never heard you talk about well, I'm this. I'm gonna talk shit. about murders so, and all that for you know what I'm saying? How, how does that make um you feel me? How does that make James feel? Fuck hustler. No disrespect. Um, like but, I said, bro, I got a I got a lot of my family call me Tito, if you want to know my real old school name. Uh -huh. Lil Boo. I'm telling the name I read Lil, that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, for paper. sure. Barbara, I exactly. that Tito, nigga. Yeah, I'm, that, I'm talking about you. I like you. you, you <laughs> with that Lil Larry? I was yeah, just okay. saying that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lil Larry. I, I, I learned the Lil Larry. You feel me? They said uh, Lil Larry was a dog. But yeah, back to all that's off subject. But um, like I told you, I was raised... I was raised with a very strong mother, bro. Uh -huh. I was raised with a very strong mother. I was raised with a father that was a, a militant. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. On certain levels, that means you talk about off camera. You know what I'm saying? That's I was right. raised with a father. I was raised with a brother like that. Right, right. You know what I mean? So I was raised I was raised a certain way where I was the man in the house my whole life. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you see me off the porch at 13 and 14 and all these different, you know what I'm saying? You right. seeing all this conduct I had and having cars and burning rubber, all this stuff I used to do. Because I lived in a neighborhood, but I never wanted to be a bad kid. Right, you know right, I mean? right, right, right. I always would anybody tell you that no hustle they or the little little booby, they call me Booby James. That's okay. that's you know what I'm saying? If y'all wanna know what you know the, the we going cause I ain't never had no interviews about yeah, talk we about going it. in Come like on. this, bro. We good, don't you worry about mean? it. I you got the you know what I'm saying, the old school name. My lips cool, I ain't no Yeah, you good. Okay, well, come right, on, man. let's I'm talk sure about it. Look good, man. Yeah, you, you straight, you all the way straight. man. But uh all the way straight. But I would just um like I said. And I'm, I ain't trying to keep going back to this shit. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm, I'm, and I'm reading this shit, like I said, like, um, it's a touchy and it's kind of a tweaky situation. And I kind of understand why you kept your silence on this shit because, like I said, and um, we around here with some good brothers. Uh, we yeah. don't keep the good brothers off the camera and the names off the cameras, but yeah. we around here with good people. And um, we even have legal representation in here to keep it 100 with you. Keep like, it and, yeah. Um, yeah. like, like I said, like this shit is kind of touchy, and I respect and feel you. Why you couldn't really speak on the shit, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's like how much a man can take mentally when, when you know, you're getting crucified, you're getting lynched, you're getting like you actually it wasn't me? like that. Okay, talk to me. That's another. That's another. You know. You know. I was also raised to be hard on suckers, bro. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. So when you hard on suckers, you know what a sucker say don't mean nothing. Talk to me. Talk to me. You know what I mean? Yes, what sir, a, what come from a sucker don't mean nothing. I come from an era where it was almost entitlement. There's different poisons from different areas. In my era, one of the main poisons was if a person was deemed a sucker, he was not even 
entitled to own anything. Right, 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 right. He couldn't have nothing. He couldn't have a car. He's a sucker. I'm taking that. You know what right, I mean? Right. I come from that kind of so being in that kind of environment, bro. We don't a sucker don't got no regards, bro. Right, right, right. No bitch out here topping people up, bro. You's a mark, bro. Right, you you right. ain't no. You not no. Look at you, bro. Right, right. You hungry, bro? Get a. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like we not finna. It's not like suckers are invisible to me. Yes, sir. Don't get me wrong now. The ego and the pride, I learned to get rid of that a long time ago. Right, right, right. And I learned that from dealing with women and love and real life stuff. Right. Your kids, you know what I'm saying? These are the jewels that I like to talk about. Your kids, your family. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? People want to talk about, you know, all these different... This is misfortunate. This is misfortunate. That's some small shit, bro. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's I've people... never, I'm sorry for cutting your wisdom yeah, short. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. never been to a federal penitentiary or nothing, right? Yeah. But um, from what I'm hearing, I'm, um, is this true or not? When you get to the federal penitentiary, like, do you have to give up your paperwork or something? It's shit called like a PSI, pre sentence investigation. Uh -huh. So your PSI is basically your license in the BOP, which is the Bureau of Prison. Mm -hmm. So before you hit that compound, you dig? You're going to have to, okay, where you from? You from Watts? You from Northern California? Okay, we got a dude over here. Go holler at him. And, you know, he we're going to bring that PSI. That back page going to tell you, you see what I said? Is it any downward departures? Uh -huh. Did you see it? What did it say about the, did, no, was it no downward departures? Yes right, or no? Right, right, right. No downward departments, no statements, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. It's certain things you see. You and know you know went through this process? I went through that process. Okay. Definitely. Every and prison I you... went to. And I've been in prison. I don't like to say no names, but I've been in prison with some really big guys. You know right, what I mean? Right. But I don't know if I don't, you know what I mean? And you I did what? You say 60 months? What you do? I was sentenced to 55 months. 55 you know, months. I did 55 month bid. And on this yeah. 55 month bid, um, you walked the line? Oh, definitely. Oh, okay. yeah, definitely, bro. Okay, walked the line. No problem. And it's funny, too, because shit. they like, it'd be dudes who, I mean, one time it was a dude I was in prison with. I said, well, who talking wet? Because I'm like, it can't be this cat because he was with me. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. And the first day I got there, I said, bro, what's because they from my town. You know what I mean? And I said, well, what's going on with uh, your folks? Because, you know, some rappers and some weirdo shit going on. He said, man, I don't know nothing, bro. You ain't got nothing to do with our case, nothing, bro. You want a burrito? You want to eat, bro? It's good. You got your stuff. You. So I was like, and then I come home and it's like, whoopie whoop and talking records. Whoop. So I said, well, I, I was with him. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I'm with this dude. So that was, you know, and it was crazy about that too mm -hmm. on that subject. That made me kind of feel good, bro. Right, right, right. You right. know how people talk about hating and all that? Sometimes I'm like, bro, you sound crazy, but that's negativity. But I was like, bro, I'm that, I'm that dude to where if a motherfucker act like I was hot or act, you know what I mean? But didn't say nothing to me, didn't, I walked around acting ignorant, bro. I right, was ignorant right, in the right. country, bro, first of all. Uh, I don't know if it's true I was true breaking not. jaws. I was catching that's 100 serious shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was catching 100 serious shots. I was playing with, we ain't got to talk about it. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, you know right. what I'm saying? We uh, this we on camera. We edit that part but, out. You know what I mean? But, but, but um, um, that's why. I was and about I to never ask had you. no issues, bro. Yeah. And when I got out of jail, never had no issues. Right, 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 right. Nobody. Right. It was never. You know what I'm saying? It was internet, of course. Don't get me wrong. The internet is a whole. That's the that's the beast. But I, you know, I never had no. Problem. Where did this demon spirit come from? Then, like, how did that even get into the world? Like, what is the source? Who who spoke that into the world? Well. Without getting into too many names, yeah, because you know, you know, if things happen and all that, and you right, know, right, right, we right. not going to record nothing. But there's individuals who, at the time, felt like that I would pull skirts off people or I would expose, and because because I know a lot of I've been around, right, right. You right, get what I'm right. saying? And sometimes when you've been around a long time, they know who knows what. Right. Okay. Talk so it's on some. We gonna slander him before he slander us. Thing we gonna beat him to the punch. Forty eight laws of power, scandalous type shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, get others to do your dirty work and all that type of shit. But it's nobody. It was always people throwing rocks and hiding their hand. Right. It was right. never on who who he told on. It was never. It was never named to it. Right. It right. was never nothing. You right, know what I mean? Right, Where's right. the statement? Oh, they ain't got that. It was confidential. There's no. They don't. That's not how it worked, bro. Right. That's right. That's not how it worked. Um, funny. But you know, funny. We be um, on that subject for a while. But come on, what else you saying? Funny. Uh. Nigga, this little blood TV. Nigga, you sitting here, nigga, yeah, until yeah, nigga, um, you gone for ten hours. Mm -hmm. Nah, but um, um, it was names, you know, names. I was and like I said, um, from what I've seen, we gonna keep going back to that. You feel me? <laughs> Unless this nigga had a magic wand and did some <laughs> shit with. The, I don't know, but um, from what I've seen, um, I'm like, damn. You seen like, everything, first of all. Yeah, I, for sure. How many? How many? How many? 
What did you see? A whole discovery? Yes or uh, no? Yeah, I seen all type of shit. You I seen the purity of the dope. He was talking yeah. shit, talking about y'all had bunk dope. What was, yeah, what was yeah. the purity? Uh, 86. Woo. 86 or 83. It was the 86, right? 86. According to who? Um, DA? Yeah, but oh, okay. um, nigga, you look making me lose my train of thought. <laughs> that bunk ass dope. Because when I first read it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. Whoopie Wop said, yeah. nigga, the bunk dope was bunk. That's cap. That's how you get better. That's how you okay. get better prices. If you want, I don't want to condone y'all selling yeah, dope. I understand. Yeah. Say it's bunk and you'll get it for cheaper. You know right, I mean? right, right. We're going to get into that too <laughs> in a second, right? And um, I was, names and shit, like I said, it was like, damn, it's like, damn, like, the the party that really was you feel me doing all the talking and um uh, it said like I said it's, it was an informant like a federal informant what I seen and um it's like uh like does does that like affect you sometimes like do sometimes you want to just be like no nah, fuck that shit nigga this is what happened like you feel me like I said bro you know I got a I got a I got an older brother I love a lot you know what I'm saying and you know people might not even know it's my brother. And my brothers, he just got out the feds doing more than 20 some years, bro. Right. Okay. And I value a lot of what he say to me. And, you know, I value his guidance. Sort of like, like your bro I spoke to today. Yes, sir. And, you know, he always advised me, bro, don't, this is a person of, of, of esteem, you know what I mean, in our community. And, you know, in the, you, whatever, you know what I'm saying? This is a person of a high stature as far as, you know, this, you know, this, you know, you get what I'm saying. And he always, you know, he always gave me good guidance, bro. Right. You know, right I got right. very few. People that I can fight in because I'm a very uh in, I'm a very uh I like being alone. You know what right, I mean? I'm right. a very I'm a I'm an independent person, you know what I'm saying? I always I'm the strongest one. I'm the one when we was kids, I'm the young in the mind figures, I was the youngest one. I'm the youngest one, I'm the biggest Man. one. I'm the youngest one, I'm the biggest one, I'm the one, I'm the protector. You know what I'm saying? I don't smoke, I don't drink. People don't know that about me. You right, know? right, right. They listen to the music, they think this boy was on everything. This boy, you know, I sold everything. That's right, what they don't right. get. And when you're a young man and you, 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 I got raised around older people, bro. When I say older, I'm not talking about I hung with the guys that was 12 grade. I'm talking right. about I hung with 50, 60 year old men, bro. Oh, geez. That, that, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that it's in a whole different game. Like that, you know what I mean? You, you know what I'm talking about, bro. We don't sure. want to get too deep in it. So I got different values and because I just, I love knowledge, bro. I'm a, I'm, I love knowledge and I don't, so when I'm approached with a situation, I take pride in having a kind of manhood where I can navigate through what I need to navigate through. Right, 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 so right. So in this world, it's going to be a lot of nonsense, bro. It's right. always going to be nonsense. And uh, you got to know how to, you know, you just got to know how to navigate, bro. So the reverse roles. I got roles. taught really well, bro. That's all. Reverse roles. Mm -hmm. um, from what I've read, and we're going to keep going back to that. Yeah, for sure. You were snitched on, right? You, everybody told and, him. And, and, yeah, hella other parties, right? But- like I was, I, re, I was reading the money niggas was playing with, uh, the quality of keys niggas was playing with. Um, you was what nineteen, eighteen at this time? Yeah, I mean this was this was a period. For what me. the fuck was you doing with that money, bro? Like, what um, was you having doing? fun, bro? We okay. put out the Jack album. You okay, know, we was working on all that kind of stuff. You gotta remember, bro. The mob figures had went huge. We are gonna get into the mob figures later on, but the mob figures went huge, and our big bro C boy ended up going to jail. Right, right, right. So he was the greatest. Sebo was the great. I can never ask for a better uh, mentor. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about solid. Like he, he reminded me of my brother. That's the reason why I was like, I'm with, I'm with him 100. percent Right. Because I had never met nobody like him. You know what I'm saying? Other than my brother. Right. 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 You know what I'm right, saying? Right, that somebody right. just he moved me, bro. Bo is the dog, bro. Bo right, is right. the truth, bro. Bo, it is what it is. You can't say nothing. It. You know what I mean? So right. the way he, the way he, uh. Laced us, bro. He put us in the, on a whole nother level, bro. And then he ended up getting incarcerated because, you know, Bo was, you know, Bo can get act. You know, Bo is, you know, he come from the active. He's yeah. active, bro. He didn't did many bids. No, he ain't, they, you can't say nothing bad about Bo, bro. Right, right. You know what I mean? And um, he laced us to a level where, and then he ended up going to jail, bro. Uh -huh. So when he ended up going to jail, it's like, okay, the mob figures y'all big. You know what I mean? We didn't, we everywhere. We going state to state. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get into some more about you know the whole mob figure and the bow lane that he carved for us and all that. But it was so big that and it went from that to nothing. Right, 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 right. So I was like, well, either we can keep it going, but we kids. You know what I'm saying? We teenagers. So how do we do this the way we did it? How Bo was because it was handed. It was we had a silver spoon in the streets, bro. Right. Bo plugged us up with all the 
You know what I'm saying? We kids meeting real g- people that generals and people that run areas, and you know what I'm saying? Because right, Bowles is love, bro. Bowles love by the streets, bro. Bowles the street number one street dude. Period. As far as music, I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Seem like I'm just keep going on and on about Brody. No, nah, you give me your flowers. He, he's That's the your truth. Shit. He's the truth. I feel bro. the same way about Jay Styling. So okay, exactly. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So and Bowles just on a whole nother level as far as manhood, bro, and realness and gangster, however you want to put it. And he he did it so well for us, bro. That we we, we I had a. I had a different vision. I was a grown man after being around him. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? After being around Bo and then my figure era and all that, I was a grown, I was already, you know, I was a young kid from a small town that had hustle that was intellectual. You know what I mean? I'm an intellectual. You know what I mean? First of all, when I got into the streets, I wanted to play sports. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to go to De La Salle. You know what I mean? I wanted to, they kicked me out of pit. You was a boxer too, right? Yeah, I used to box. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. You know what I'm saying? the uh, boys club downtown in Mazuma that burned down Montezuma, you know what I'm saying? I was a kid, grew up, you know what I'm saying, wanting to box, watching, you know, boxers in my town and everything. So right. when when Bo left, I had a we had a we had a we had an entrepreneur mind. Right, right, right. But at me having that street background from a curb, you know what I mean, growing up in around projects and, you know, you know, Probably. small hustling, you know what yeah. I mean? Moms had a good job, but you know, moms are to the neck. I got a twin sister, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, was, I don't want to keep burdening her. I'm 13. I'm a man. Right. She raised me to be a man, man in the house. My mom always let me do what I wanted, bro. I used to run the streets as a kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? They be like, your son down there at the, at the marina. You know what I'm saying? I'm right, right. a mile away from home at six years old. They're like, what is, you know, I done got on my bike and went down the railroad. I'm in a whole nother, you know what I'm saying? I'm all at the mall. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So my mom raised me really independent to be a man. Right, right. And uh, when we got left, kind of like, in a position where we didn't have no more mentorship because, you know, bro got incarcerated. We just started, we kept working. We kept, you know what I'm saying? We kept we kept the camaraderie, the brotherhood we had because we knew that blessing was so great, that my figure blessing was so great that we kept it going. And um, Jack was a very, um, how do you put, Jack can meet people, bro. Jack would meet a lot of great people. A lot of the people that are Jack's good friends that he met, that he, they was not who they was when they met him, bro. Right. They end up being great people. I'm talking about people that's, you know, yeah, from ballers to, you know, right, from right, right. Uh, high levels at jobs. And, like, Jack could see quality in people. Change lives. Yeah, so he introduces, he introduces to some people that introduces to, you know what I mean? Because Jack was, you know, he was about Islam. You know, Jack was a cool cat. He liked to smoke the best weed. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was a tree connoisseur. Was Jack in Islam before you? Yes. Okay. Jack gave me my Jack gave me my dawah as far as, you know what I mean, the yeah. dean. Okay. I grew up, I grew up like, you know, with the nation and I grew up, you know what I'm saying, studying blackness and, and militancy. But as you know, that's not that's different from religion. Right, right. You know, right, studying right. George Jackson, all that stuff, that's that's, that's about totally black different. up, that's pan-Africanism. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we trying to get away from the culture of, you know what I mean? Because the, the colonizer uses religion against you, something. Not to knock religion, but something, you know, it can be used as a right, tool right. against somebody. So I grew up basically with pan Africanism and all that, but in, in the nation, and once I start saying, man, you know what, I'm a proud person, you know what I mean? Black man, I don't keep showing me this slave stuff. You know what I mean? It's something else going on. Like it was one time I was uh, at Hillview Junior High, a school called Hillview in Pittsburgh, and uh, the teacher was like, I was like, man, this curriculum ain't really conducive to my growth. You know what I mean? Like this is this is conducive to the establishment that basically has written me off. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So this is basically this ain't teaching me this what was I need. Junior high. This is me in junior high, bro. Yeah. And the teacher said, Well if you if you you know, if you feel like you're not learning or you feel like the people can learn something better, I, tomorrow I want you to come and teach the class. I'm gonna let you teach the class. So I got my books, you know what I'm saying? I walked up to the board, I wrote Africa, I drew the whole African continent on there. You know what I mean? Drew it this big and drew the rest of the country smell, let them know like this is how big Africa is. You know what I mean? Right, That's the right. first misconception. You know what I mean? And I talked about different things in the nation. And I talked about Malcolm X. I talked about, you know, being a right, sixth grader, right. what you talk about. And uh, that's all. So basically, I said that to say that's basically how I always so been. I had knowledge in self. Your parents were so, Muslim? No, no, okay. no, 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 no. My mother, she, I'm doing a lot. She took her shahada. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay. In West Oakland. You know what I mean? Yeah, so she dope. took her shahada. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, so naturally, when you, when you start studying intellect and and uh, wisdom and just, you know, trying to just, you know, because you want to navigate out of a destined environment. I'm in a small town, bro. So reading and all that was my, you know what I'm saying? Because I look outside, I don't see a lot. You're not going to see a lot, in a, you know, in a small town. You know what I mean? You said uh, your mom took her shahana in West Oakland. Was that under Yusuf Bay? 
No, that was uh, that was recent, bro. At Lighthouse. Okay, okay, okay. Right, okay. right there, Lighthouse. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, and um, shout out Lighthouse. Magic I had a, uh, just to tweak on the Muslim thing for a minute. Mm-hmm. I had a conversation with 19 Keys um, a few months back on this on this podcast, and uh, he felt as if he told me Malcolm X. We brought up Malcolm X. Mm-hmm. He said, "Well, growing up, Malcolm X was a trainer in my house." And that kind of put like a yeah, that's why out of in my mouth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because the Malcolm I know and it, like shit I've studied just, you know, through our life, like um, like if it wasn't for Malcolm, I don't think the nation would have spread it like it spread it. Well, I really to be honest with you, bro, and all respect, you know, we talk about a lot of wild stuff. I really don't want to get too much in religion or either other people's, you know what I mean? Because I believe as a Muslim, you judge according to your book. Uh, that's what they teach us as Muslims. A man is a judge according to their book. So if you Sikh, if you Punjabi, if you if you Shia, if you Sunni, if you whatever you is, you judge according to your book, because you can't hold every all of humanity accountable for something that all of humanity don't have access to. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Uh, the uh, reason why I like the Quran is because it's the original text that, that was manifested. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it, I re- I like the Bible. I read the Bible. I read the you know what I'm saying. I study other religions. I, you know what I mean? It's not that I'm I'm not a there's no compulsion in Islam, you know what I mean? There's no compulsion. So that that fitna is what they call it. It's fitna is division amongst the ummah, amongst the people. Right, right. So I tell my brothers, because I, I got a lot of brothers that are very uh, devout Christians, very devout, you know, different things. I say, brother, you're a good person, and at the end of the day, you got a scale. You got your good deeds, you got your bad deeds. If your good deeds outweigh your bad deeds, I believe you're going to a reward. Regardless of what book you read, you know what I'm saying? I love you for that, bro. So I'm not going to argue. You know what I'm saying? I, right, right. I'm not going to say what you're doing is wrong. I don't want you saying what I'm doing is wrong. And we're going to leave it at that. You know what right. I'm saying? Because you do good, good will follow you through all your days. Right. As simple as that. Because what about a person that's in the jungle that's never read a book in their life? Is they right. going to hell? Because right. they don't, right. they're don't? they not a religion or they're not of a certain faith or they didn't do what they were supposed to do for this way. You know, you, if they're a good person, then good gonna happen to them. You know what I'm sure. saying? I definitely believe in that too. I definitely believe yeah, in man. That. So that's what the Islam thing. You know what I mean? So and I, you know, we 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 can go. You know, me and you, bro. I love how you talk. I love the way your brain moves, bro. And we can go deep into it. But that's what I was saying. That's my take on religion before it even, because you know, people would like to take something, blue blood and hustle religion. Talk, you know what I mean? They turn into a whole nother. Don't don't Fuck quote them. us. Yet. I know that, brother. Fuck I know that. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? I don't fuck about none of that shit. Man, I'm but, you know. Um, so um like to rewind it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um we was also having a conversation about AWOL, and I know you tweaked on that a little bit. Yeah. But um do you feel as if um if it wasn't for AWOL, do you think that my figures shit would have still jumped off? And the you one think thing, it would have been what it was? Well that's that question is very interesting because we wasn't on AWOL. Oh. So I don't know if you know that. So I don't, I don't know if you know that. We was on West Coast Mafia. We were signed to West Coast Mafia, which is Sebo's label. So what was AWOL? AWOL was uh, when Sebo came up. Him and his, him and his so partner. So AWOL wasn't his label, like Sebo's Him label? and his, he had some partners. That, you know what I mean? That's, uh, that, okay. I didn't know too much about AWOL. I didn't know. I came right. into a different era than that. That was before me. Oh, yeah. I was asleep. See? You yeah, yeah. I was, I was, that was before me. Gas Hammer, all that was before. You know what I mean? We was uh, kids when that was going on. Okay, Bo had was starting the label, and that's how the Mafias came about. Right, right. Bo right. had came to Pittsburgh looking for some artists, and uh, it was a shout out to Filmo Cats. You know what I'm saying? With some Filmo dudes, they had a record shop in Pittsburgh. They had a record shop, some Filmo dudes. You know, we don't got a lot of shops back back then. Right, we have right. a lot of stuff, like as far as that kind of stuff. You know, you remember? Shout out Underdog Records. Shout out Underdog Records. That's our that's our record shop. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Underdog. Shout out Ryan and them at Underdog. Remember T Y Uzis? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Oakland, I would, that's where we get our music. We come to Oakland and do our, that's where we get our, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But when the, um, we got Rock Bottom and Antioch too, shot them out. They legendary too. But um, it was a record shop the Film on Dudes had. And those guys said, man, y'all dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is y'all doing, bro? Y'all super dope. We, they like, y'all making your own music? We making our own music. We producing our own music. We, everything is ours. We writing our own music. We talking about kids, bro, 15. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, And it's sounding good. And all we would want to do is just let the older guys in the neighborhood, like, man, you know what I'm saying? They would buy us a tape. Shout out my boy Head JB. You know what I'm saying? 
He little boo, man. Let me get that tape off you, man. Let me give me twenty five dollars or something. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, for, right. for you know a couple songs. So what y'all was rapping over the tape, the selling the tapes type shit. No, we were we had a dats. We okay. had real equipment. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, um, Big Rob, man. Rob Lowe's dad, bro. He was like a father figure to us. That that right. he bought us real equipment, real actual equipment, bro. We in junior high with real equipment, making real music. And Rob Lowe was working a dats. He working all that, bro. As a kid, you know what I mean. <laughs> That's why he's crazy now, probably. Not. Yeah, yeah, right. Shout out Rob Lowe. Yeah, yeah, but he was he was he was working all that as a kid, bro. I'm talking about sampling and all that stuff. Right, right, right. This, we talking about crisscross era. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Come you on. know what I mean? Crisscross was our rivals. You know what I'm saying? That was my first op was Chris Crisscross. I'm like, man, they turned. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they had to, they had to backwards. I had the inside out. It was wiggity 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 <laughs> back. <laughs> This nigga was whack, yeah. No, nah, I wasn't whack. Was he was whack. inside out. It was a crisscross. I won best dress. Okay. You know what I mean? I won best motherfucking dress, man. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? No, you know what? I, that's crazy because the bar said uh, something about crisscross because they wiggity whack. Yeah. And he just said the underage posse, the real miggity miggity max. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was funky. That was falling hard back then. But yeah, we was it was cool though. We, you know, we, we shout out Chris Cross too. I don't know how we right. even got on there, but they was they was raw, bro. They had the jerseys, they had All the, the Raiders jersey. We like, boy, <laughs> I got to get to that. You feel me? <laughs> I'm at Durant Square like moms, please. You know, right. she's like, what? How much that cost? I'm like, you know what she she get it for me. <laughs> moms would be like, look, bro, this outfit costs a couple hundred. You gonna get this and wear it for a couple months <laughs> for sure? Or you gonna get like five or six pairs of mid grade? I said, right. give me the high fashion. That's and that's why I dress how I dress. That's why I'm always listen. Listen, you know what I mean, I understand that, right? Mm -hmm. But when I was coming up, oh, I'm glad you said that. If you had a white tee, you were saucy. Like, you know yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like so, you were mm -hmm. in that era too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and I think it was like a confidence thing. I think like that white tee was like your roly type shit. Like it was your green. Well, I'm gonna like, tell you this. Like, what is it now? Like, how do we get? Like, First of all, bro. Hold on, let me finish. How okay. do we get so like not like uh, having hella faith in ourselves and like we know we saucy to like damn I ain't saucy if I don't got on a Gucci shirt or if I don't have on Jordans and internet. Talk to me. Come on. That that simple. <laughs> what they doing? In, in New York, what they doing in Dallas, what they doing in Florida, what they doing in, what y'all boys doing. So we, you know what I mean? After after a while, you want to, I got to get the woo wop. I got to, you know what I'm saying? I, personally, me, I always like the high fashion. So I'm not going, you know what I mean? I'm, I ain't talking about me, I'm talking about the mother cats. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But I'm from the era, like, you know, having a Buick. I got, man, they got a DVD in me, boy. I'm running, I got a Buick with some, I got a Buick with some $10,000 rims on it, bro. The, the 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 Rams cost more than a car, bro, and I'm so proud of that car. And you right, know what I'm saying? Right, I got right. a white T-shirt and some long crazy hair. You know what I'm saying? I'm nigga, this a beauty. This a scrape. You know what I'm saying? So right, of right. course I know that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about this after I had fancy stuff, but at that time, you know that that's where we was at. Shout out Oakland. That's right, all right, Oakland right. right there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oakland Don't was a, Oakland that. is a is a mecca for a lot of culture, bro. And, and you know I'm gonna always give it up when people. Why you think people say? Us from Oakland. You ask a lot of these people that don't know that don't know that think I'm from Oakland, bro. Right. Because I always I've been first of all I've been living there for so many years, and I know so many people, and I'm deep rooted with real people. Like you see, like your big bro, he like man, us. Remember we was at the do shit. This is clubs that ain't even been around. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know about them. Clubs. Exactly. And Oakland is a is a is a hub for culture. So that area when y'all came with that, bro. You know what I mean? You got to realize, bro. Oakland has extreme poverty. So it was a time just saying, nigga, I'm from Oakland. That was your, that was your rollie. Cause you like, nigga, I'm from Oakland. That's my rollie. You know? Nigga, we like, nigga, and what that mean? Nigga, I mean, I can't beat your ass. But he's still like, nigga, beat my ass now, nigga. I'm from the town. Right, you feel right, me? Right, so, right, right. so it was a it's proud to represent. It was a that. very proud thing. Yes, like how that, yes. like how that on the 880, that, that mural, I feel like that was so subliminal. Right. And say Oakland is proud or what right. is Remember that old school mural over yeah, there? Yeah. Oakland on is the a, Nimbus Freeway. Exactly. Oakland yes. is a very proud environment. They should, as they should be, because right. it's a it's a revolutionary uh town. It's a it's a it's a freedom thinking town. It's a it's a hard working town. You know what I mean? All aspects of Oakland, you know, from its origins is is solid, bro. That's why it's you know fu I mean? it fucked me up to see like our state now to where and I'm not shooting everybody down. It's just like it's like we down there lost our identity. It's like we're not. Yeah, well, that's anymore. why. That's another reason why you know I'm starting. I'm getting back into music as far as you know, 
you know, developing youngsters. And if y'all got some youngsters, y'all feel like y'all that y'all think hard, bro, send them my way. I'm back. I'm off the porch, bro. It got me back off the porch. You know what I mean? I've been in my dad, bro. I got a lot of kids. You know what I'm right. saying? We, we ain't got to get in all that, but I got a lot. Shout out all my kids. Right. You know what I mean? Shout out they baby, my baby mamas. They all solid. You know what I'm saying? Boy, it's time for us to get out there for these kids, bro. Yes, sir. That's what, yes, sir. You know what I mean? Uh, I can't sit back and be like, well, that's what they own. They don't want to listen because you got to realize we went through that ain't listening era. Right, right. So when we revolted against our OGs, like, bro, you got to realize, you remember, like, like you said, I was a teenager doing all that stuff. I was a yes, teenager sir. getting at this certain level. And back, you know, when you in the streets, you looking at it like, well, money got something to do with everything. Right, right. If I got right. more money than everybody, why I'm listening to them? It's not about money. You know what Say I mean? That. It's not about money. So now you see people achieve high levels of money and all this stuff, but they don't got that, they don't got that protocol that they need to keep, you know, to maintain the system, the machine that we come from. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's a machine, bro. And the machine at this point is giving up on the counterparts of it. You know what I mean? And to say, okay, y'all ain't listening. Do it. See how I go for y'all, and that's why we keep getting generations and generations of people failing. And yeah, you know, we're in that. a very rough culture right now with our youth. Say that. And I'm, you know, as much as I just want to get out there on the front lines with the bullshit and spot smashing and all that, and the, you got know, I slang iron and all that. I want to get out there on the front line with these kids yeah, and talk that. to them. Right, right. Not to sound corny, you know what I'm saying? Because nah, a gangster's gonna be a gangster. That's what I be on too. Yeah, gangster right. gonna. Yeah. I always, and it's not yeah. no secret. It's yeah, exactly. No a gangster gonna be uh, a gangster, but at the same time, I just want to get my little. You know, I want to get my dawa, give my share my, you know, because it's OGs that gave me jewels. You know what I'm saying? It's OGs that gave me, uh, you know, a lot of stuff that, that that helped me in my life. You know what I'm saying? It's a song by you, right? And um, I think it was more to the record than what people uh, know or believe. That's just my feeling about the record. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the um, in real life. Yeah, it real lot. It sounded like um, I think that was like one of your first records dropping when you was released from jail. Exactly. And um, in that record, like it's like you know, I felt pain, I felt a chant, I feel these are the emotions I get from that record. Exactly. Like I feel um, happy, like in deep, like you can play that record in any mood. You Pray know for what you. I'm exactly. Yeah. Pray for you. Exactly. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, just a tweak touch. Like, what was the whole tweak behind that record? Um, like I said, I had just come from doing years in prison, right? And a lot of people know in prison, I didn't really write no music. Huh? Didn't write music in prison, didn't think about music. You know, I thought about what mattered most, and that's the people you make and the people that you made. Because, you know, as you know, I'm going to tell you all right now, young, because your bride going to last about 18 months. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, and that, why would you want her to? I had women that I was in love with and all that, but I said, baby, I signed up for this gangster shit. Right, you You're not going to be doing this time. You know what I'm saying? You the love of my life. It don't matter. You got to go ahead. So I I took the mentality once again is, you know, the attachment of emotion. I'd rather have a lot of girlfriends than one wife. Right. Or right. one, you know what I'm saying? Or one Muslima that I'm putting through torment. You know what I'm saying? Because women are sacred, bro. I'm, you know what I mean? Sure. Regardless of what I got going on as far as this gang shit and all that, I always realized that women, I shared the womb with a woman. I got a twin right. sister. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with women. I protected women. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm strong in my masculinity, and I can say that women is stronger and, and more powerful than anything on this universe Same. because they created the universe through the creator. You know what I'm saying? So why would I, you know what I'm saying, put her through that? So that's kind of how, I, so from that, you know, we go, we go deep in what we're talking about, but from dealing with women and heartbreak and, you know what I'm saying? And being on some hard time and working out and being around men, you know what I'm saying? Spending my 20s, you know what I mean? I'm at the, you got to realize from 20 to 30 was all turmoil for me. Right, right, right. It was all federal scrutiny, you know, bails, being on bail, fighting, incarceration, you know, uh, probate, you know what I'm saying? Federal probation, all this. I'm under scrutiny, can't travel, can't do this, you know what I mean? So I had all that this shit was just like a, that song was kind of a culmination of, you know what I'm saying? Everything. On top of people talking, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, talking tough or whatever. Riff, riff. You know what I mean? Talking tough like, bro, you know, you know, you know, I'm with whatever anybody want to get on. I'm very, I have a very, one thing about me that I was known for people, that I, you know, I'm not proud of it, but I had a high tolerance to commit violence, you know what I'm saying, as a youth. And that's why I, I reach out to those kids because a lot of these kids, they got a high tolerance to commit violence. They have a high, uh, they're violent prone because they have, they got inner shit about them, you know what I'm saying? Which I, you know, they should make you go to therapy and shit, and I would right, not right, understand right. it, but I'd be kind of on some, you know what I mean? But I kind of, I got the, a little bit of it because I'm still a little bit 
off yeah, up here. Out. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. still a little psyched out. You know what I mean? I'm a child soldier, bro. I'm a child soldier. I'm talking around real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And I never talked about this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Y'all always see me joking and doing a, it's the us and all that. You know what I mean? You see me right, doing right, that, right. but you never see me talking about because not to be talked about. Yes, sir. Yes, you know sir. I mean? Yes, sir. What do George say? The number one rule of guerrilla warfare is secrecy. Yes, sir. So why would I be around here talking about what I've been through or what I've done, done to people or what environment I've been in? I'm not going to talk about all that nonsense because that ain't got nothing. We doing entertainment. Right, right, so right. So I'm going right. to get on here and talk about burning rubber on the bitch face or doing this right, or yoking right. in the shed. But that's what I'm going to tell people. Know me for that. You know what I'm saying? Having fun, carefree. Lightweight ignorance. Yeah, and that's why I said that Pray For You was kind of different. It was me. exactly. It, it was, was different. Hella different. Because like, I came home with growth. You know what I'm saying? Say that. I came say home. That, say that. I came home and what I seen, um, when I left, when I left like in 05, in 05, you know, it was the hype. You know what I mean? We had lost Drake, but it was like. It Super hype people. It was going. Yeah. Live wild. We was all, we was, you know what I'm saying? We was new. It was a new thing. The mob was, it was really. It was me and Jack, and you know what I'm saying? It was a lot going on. We was, it was, man, Oakland was a beautiful, it was right. so beautiful. Recipes, pretty black. We was out there, boy. Shout out my boy Snug. Shout out there, you know what I'm saying? And, and not to interrupt you, but I be telling people too, it was a different hyphy movement too under that. Like, it was the Dub Will Miller, like the Hughes and Liverpool, they don't all get, that. That, that was, shit don't get. You feel me? Yeah, that's that the street. Like, that, yeah. that was the streets. That was yeah. Oakland. That was, we don't never hear about that. That was the trenches, shit. bro. Right, that was right. the trenches, bro. A lot of my music was inspired from Oakland, bro. Living in Oakland, bro. Right, right, It was right. the trenches, bro. I would go to the Youth Uprising and watch the Young Niggas gig. And I'm like, well, instead of being on the radio, I'd rather watch. I want the youngsters to play. They ain't playing no us. So I'm going to make something for the, you know what I'm saying, these youth, because I'm admiring them. I'm admiring right, this culture. Right, I'm looking right. at how they moving. I'm looking at, you know what I'm saying? They, I'm like, this is clean, bro. Right, right, I'm in the middle right. of something so clean. And I'm like, I want to be part of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I would hear certain songs, I would think that they would lie. they like, man, we ain't on that big, bro. Right, right, and I'm right. like, what? They have some little underslaps. And you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, it's going yeah, crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out my boy Donny Otto. I go up there with little Donny Otto, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And he'd be like, big bro, that's he. You know what I'm saying? Right. So a lot of my music was influenced. But that's crazy. Like you said, by people younger than me. Right, right. So you see thing. you see how, not to interrupt me, but you that's see right. how I can take influence from somebody over me. I can take somebody influence younger than me. Yeah. You got to learn how to be, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what that's what that was about. Right. And that prayer for you, like you said, was another one of those moments to where it was, uh, I just put everything in one. Right, you right, know, I right. Dress, I addressed the ops. You know what I mean? I addressed the world. I gave encouragement. You know what I'm saying? I, I did. I did every because I've been. I was studying music in my right, head. Right, right. I'm listening to all this different kind of music because all you had is the radio. So I'm, you know, they, they. I'm like, but that's cool. But that ain't all that. To me, I think that was like you stepping away from that hyphy hus to this grown man hus. And even in the song, I think it's like a part in there where you're talking to yourself, damn near kind of like. Yeah, it's all kind of stuff. Yeah, it's all kind of. It's, it's, it's all. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, because I was. I was at genius level. You know what I'm saying? You gotta realize when people spend enough, you spend enough time by yourself, bro. You spend enough time doing, uh, cultivating yourself and building yourself and sharpening yourself as a man. You spend enough time doing that, bro. You can reach a genius level, bro. And that's right. to all you youngsters, bro. What you, what you, whatever you water grows. So at that point, like you said, when I left, I was on the, you know, the cars. I was still kind of because I had got on bail. So I was right. like, okay, I'm finally past this. I can, I got six months to wiggle. All that music that all that you talking about was six months period, bro. That was a six month period. Right, right. Dope right, Guns right. Religion, um, since the eighties and all that. That came out when I was in jail. I never seen the since the eighties album. Right, right, right. I don't right. even know what could tell you what's on that album. That right. came out when I was in prison. That's you know the I mean? Afro album, right? I mean, it's yeah, that, that's like, exactly. So, yeah. Uh, so when I um was in that prison, bro, I was just reading a lot. You know what I mean? I was working out. I said, you know, I'm gonna start waking up and just making Fajr every day. I'm gonna wake up. At, I had a celly from. I had to study from Middle East, bro, and it's like you got to study like that. He making a lot. He getting up to make wudu and gusel. I'm like, man, it's forty degrees here. It's cold. You, you know what I'm saying? I gotta go get in the shower, boy. This is, yeah. but I'm not finna be no sucker because it's like okay, when when I was on the streets and I see one of my brothers finna go get down, I'm finna like, bro, I'm a sucker. If I don't, I got to hop in the car too. What right, you talking right, about? I'm right. front line. So I took that with the religion and, and the spiritualism. When I see one of my brothers finna go pray. What I look like, the brothers walking past me, they got the masala, they got the carpet, and they look just watching. And I'm over there, nigga, that's five, big Ben, nigga, you know what I mean? I'm talking book, talking about some dominoes or some nonsense. Right, 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 right. And they finna go pray. And I'm finna miss these blessings. There's five brothers, and you know, when you the more you pray, the more it multiplies as far as your, so when that, you make a lot in the congregation, it multiplies more and more and more and more. 
The more people in the congregation, the more blessings you get. So what I look like letting all them blessings, well, all I got is blessings now. Because you can only spend $300 a month. Uh, you can't do nothing. I don't care how balling you, how much money I had on the streets. I had Benz and all that shit, all that stuff. That don't mean nothing. You got a khaki suit and a G-Shock. That was your first time doing time? like Yeah, that was my first time ever in prison ooh. my whole life. So how, ooh, like, so to be stripped of everything worldly, like you said, when you left, you hear the bitches, the cars, the money, the jewelry. Now it's sitting your ass in this cell and do what I It was a relief, boy. bro. It was a relief. I don't say that. It was a relief for me because, um, like you said, the streets, violence, you know what I mean, high-level drug, you know what I mean, all these things I did, that I thought was... Didn't phase me was you know it was it was it, it wears on your spirit you know what I mean you say it was it be times bro one time I was in I was in North Carolina bro and and the people had dropped off the money you know I did what I did I came out there and uh, they brought you know they brought the money whatever and they like you in here by yourself you know what I mean it was like and I'm like yeah I'm in here by myself I had like a I had like a mentality like I was bulletproof you get what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, I'm in by myself. You know what I'm saying? And they like, with all that? And whoop 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 Like, you know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah, I'm in. And then, and then I had like a, I had like a mentality like I was bulletproof, bro. And all these different things that I realized when I start thinking about all that stuff. Like, boy, you was playing. Right. You know what I'm saying? You was playing, bro. You were 18, 19 year old kid with 10, 20 kids in there. You took, and they dropping off lots of money. And to add to that, when I got back and thought about it, I said, bro. I'll be in a room, you know, three, four hundred bands, and I'm like, it don't feel right in here. You know what I'm saying? And when I was a youngster selling dope, it'd be like, this is wrong, but I got to, you know what I'm saying? I want some shoes, man. I want a car, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to ask my mama for nothing, bro. That's 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 corny to me. Right. I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? When I look like asking my mama, mama, can I get, you know what I'm saying, a starter coat? I want the running rebel coat, the UNLV coat. You know what I'm saying? She got the she, this 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 your mama, bro. You watching my mama's a beautiful woman, bro. Right. Strongest person I want. She made me so strong that I want to make her life, you know what I'm saying, easy. as easy as possible. Yes, sir. Yes, so I'm gonna make this decision. It might hurt her. And she knew I'm anti-establishment. So by me not wanting to go to school, she kind of understood that because she's an independent person like me. Right, right. My mama's a better rapper than me. My mama can dress better than me. My mama is a Got more fl swag, everything. My mama's the truth, bro. Right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Speak so, on her. I love that shit. Yeah, bro. My mama's the truth, bro. Still the truth. You know what I mean? They still can't stop her. You know what I mean? Right, right. She got to drop 442 70 colors right now. You feel right, me? Right, right, right. You right. know what I'm saying? So, shout um, out Mac V. Her name was Mac V when we was young shout rapping. Shout out Mac V. Um, and, how yeah. did moms feel when she found out, like, you know, you was buying pussy and selling all this dope and shit? Buying coochie, you I slid that in kind of quick. Well, you know, how did mom <laughs> when she found that out? Um, my mom used to ride through the hood, hopping out on people. Uh -huh. Where my son at? You know what right, I'm saying? Right. One time she found a hammer in the house. She pulled up on the. I don't. I mean, how shit. I mean, it's a story. It is what it is. She found the hammer and pulled out and whipped out on everybody on the block. <laughs> 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 You know, my mom was, you know, my mom was, yeah. you know, my mom was, you know. She's going she, to war. That's yeah, very, cut. very, but a smart, just like me, bro. Right. I'm just like my mama, bro. Very smart, very vicious, very caring, very, uh, you know, empathetic of people and, you know, aware of doing good. You know what I mean? That's why I got a lot of virtue in my mind. And my dad was a pure intellectual as well. Right, right, right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, my right. pops got a B number. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he did time. Is he still alive? Yeah, pops still alive. You know what I mean? Big boo. Big booby. That's big booby James. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You think I talk a lot. We're going to get him. I'm, I'm going to lend him to you one day. Right, right. You're going right. to love pops, boy. That's dope. You know, I fuck with You're him. You're going to love I pops because I can't get a word in around pops. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, like, right. He got so much game, boy. It's just, whoo. Um, you know what I mean? What thing you regret? If it's one thing that Husk can say he regret or that you can go back and, and, and change the narrative on, what would that be? Um, that's a very good question, bro. It's a very good question because um, it's not a lot that I think I would. I th it's 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 not a lot, but it's also a lot. If that makes sense, definitely. It's like it's not a lot. In my mind, I feel like it's not a lot for me to, that I would change. But when I get into my, as you know, you talking about your subconscious, and you know, you start talking about, you know, uh, youth trauma and all these different things. You say it probably was some things I could have changed. You know what I mean? That I didn't have to. That I didn't have to do, or some things I could have applied my energy to. You know what I mean? But at the at the, it's nothing really on my fingers that I could really. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of wish that would. Uh, I guess, like you said, with the, all this shit dealing with these suckers and all that, because I know stuff about people, right? 
being vocal about it, smashing on suckers. If you're not going to kill him, bro, let it go. Right, right. If you're not going to knock somebody off, bro, don't, you know, what you're doing, you, you just, you almost on some uh, bullshit by even, you know, speaking on, if he a sucker, he a sucker, bro. You're going to get him out the way, knock him off, then do that. Don't run around, you know, because you open up the door. You right. open your mouth up talking crazy or whatever. You open up for him, to, even if you think he ain't entitled to talk or, or, or defend himself. Every man is, you know what I mean? So you smashing no suck. I was a, the enemy of suckers, bro. Right. I'm the enemy. Of, I was the enemy of the sucker. So being so vocal about all that and impressing people and all that, bro, you get a lot of hate because if somebody's weaker than you, now they look at it like, man, Hus going, you know, going, going, going to press me or right. go hard on me or I'm going to belittle somebody. And I just learned, I wish, you know, mind your own, you live long, bro. Let people do what they do, bro. All right. Let people do what they do, bro. If you ain't gonna get him out the way, bro, don't you know what I'm saying? Leave, let that negativity. Don't put don't put your negativity. Do good, bro. Right, you know right. Do right by people. I guess that's, I don't know if that was answered right, bro. Not, my bad if I answered it kind of man. Are you man. good, bro? You, know you know good. Mean? However you feel like answering anything, like yeah. I said, this little blood TV, and I praise you too because you like. Um, why would I go sit down with a white hoopie when I got an African over here that I see yeah. that's doing what he's doing? Mob figures. Let's talk mob figures for a second. Uh, mm -hmm. Me personally, uh, like I said, I know, like, you was telling me, like, that's something all y'all built, and, like, you really don't feel right, like, just really, you know, doing that, um, you know, without blood around or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. Yeah. But me personally, and this is just me personally, um, and this has nothing to do with the other members. This has nothing to do with anybody else that's um, our artist. I'm just saying, me personally, I feel if it's not you, then who? You get what I'm saying? Um, the my figure thing, bro, was one of the greatest things that couldn't, that didn't get to happen. Basically, you know what I mean? It was one of the greatest things that didn't get to happen. Why? Because, though? because um, uh. Like I said, Bo did such a great job for us, bro. We was we was spoiled, bro. We was spoiled young kids, bro. I'm just gonna keep it one hundred, bro. Right. We was spoiled young kids, bro. And then uh, we try to keep it going. You know what I mean? We end up getting a deal with a label called Warlock Records, and it was a big label. It was a big label, New York label. That's why you see it. Shout out Cormega and New York and Queensbridge and going to right, New right, York right. and all that. We had another deal, you know. That you know, I think it was a big Ike or Bo. One of you know, what I mean, shout out to Big Ike. One of you know, these guys that I guess they lined it up. I don't know how it came about, but we had a deal. I believe it's definitely from Big Ike or Bo, or you know, what I'm saying right. Bo. You know what I mean, Bo put us, he put it, he, he so we 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 uh had that deal and we were just we was spoiled kids, bro. They threw y'all the bag too, uh, yeah, we did. They did. Now, y'all only did one my figures album, right? One album. Like what, what was the like? Y'all was still around each other to up to bro died. So what was why y'all never redid it? Got um, because the way we did the the process of that album was really sacred, bro. And it was like we 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 always made it packed that we not gonna change nothing as far as like uh, downgrading. You get what okay, I'm saying? Okay. We don't do email and verses. If you're not there to record in that studio session, you're not on that song, bro. Right. Because when you come out that studio and it's eight people in there. And you get this from, that was him. If you don't get that from eight people, if it's one person, like, I mean, he, you know what I mean? That mean that's, it got vetoed. Right, right, it was right, a very right. high, strict level of, uh, uh, you know, critical art. You know what I'm saying? Right, it was right. criticized very uh, meticulously. Right. So we did it at a, such a high level. And uh, shout out Mike Gregory, you know what I'm saying? It was a brother. I mean, he invested in us too, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, Bo and you know what I'm saying we we had the best of the best, bro. We recorded, you know what I'm saying. Gov was around, you know what I'm saying. We in there with Gov. We in there with three times. We in there the, the real talk two thousand, all them right, songs, all that stuff. That right. was high level music being made on reels. You know what I'm saying. Right. And it cost money. You know, it's two three bands a session. Damn. So these people, these men, is spending two three thousand dollars for a session, bro. It costs money, bro. You know about the Lev and all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. It's, it's levels of, you know what I'm saying? We at the grill. This so is a, Lev been having that right there, the grill? It was a whole nother grill. It was over by Diamond Park. But it was Lev shit, though? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It wow. was a grill over by Diamond Park, bro. It was a That's Lev. why y'all so connected with Lev. Like of that. course. Right. A Lev was a big part of our legacy, bro. Crazy. You know um, I was at the grill with you once, me, you, and John. I don't know if you remember. Nigga, you asked me for a cigarette. I gave you a cigarette. You went to move. G-O-D. You turned the lights off. You feel me? Mm -hmm. The nigga played the beat. 
and um, it was raw because you just seen a little light from the shit, and you just see the smoke from the cigarette. <laughs> and nigga, you freestyled a whole song. I'm not talking about punch me in here and do that. I'm yeah. talking about nigga, you went somewhere else. Like you Man. went, you went tweaky. That bro. was fresh out. First of all, them cigarettes ain't cool, but like, <laughs> we was fresh out that BOP boy smoking them little sticks. You know what I'm saying? Shout out yeah. them sticks and the BOP. Man, them get you through the night, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My plug was the Native Americans. They used to go in a little teepee and get the, uh, little, the tobacco to smoke. Sure. I cashed that out. Let me get that. You know what I mean? So shout out, but yeah, that's yeah, that's what you know. I just kind of like I said, I don't really do I don't get too high, I drink too much, you know, but at that penitentiary, yeah, you smoking drugs. For I mean, not sure. excuse me, smoking sure. drugs. They got you smoking, you gonna smoke a square, man. For sure. In Chicago, they call it a square, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Let me get a square, Joe. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but I, yeah, I just kind of get I get in the mold, you know, and I just do my thing. That's all. You know, right, right. A lot of my music is free. You know, as I know, a lot of my music is freestyle. Right, right, you know right. What I mean, because and that's another thing. I feel like when we did the mob figures, you wouldn't like you couldn't freestyle, bro. Right, you had the right. You're not doing that, and it better be one take. Right, right. Not excuse right. me. It got to be all the way through. We not no punching. It's no in. freestyle, and ain't no punching. So you know, doing that at that level, you know, it, you know, everybody. Some people gonna want to say, "Man, I'm finna punch," and then now it was he punching it. Now, you know what I'm saying? That's what we used to go back to back. We had conflict about that. Me and Jack start going back to back. They're like, bro, what y'all got going over there? You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? Y'all go up back to back. We doing a little, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was like, you know, we would just have, it was just a fun thing, bro. And the way we had it, we said it was this is a sacred thing. And shout out Freak. He was supposed to be involved with it. Uh, we had a brother named Nut Brittle. If you don't know him, he was supposed to be involved with it. Yeah, it's a brother named uh no brutal man from Pittsburgh that was supposed to be involved with the mob figures that you know it just didn't get to happen like it wasn't supposed to happen that he was right. he rapped with us that was our boy you know what I'm saying Freak was our boy and uh, AP that came from out of town was in Pittsburgh with us you know what I'm saying Freak family of course Freak but Freak you know he was a street you know he was right, a real right. he was a, you know serious guy and you know he would have you know it was in YA and all in and out all of YA and all that stuff so he was already going through legal troubles when we was kids you know what right I'm saying? right he so he was older than y'all yeah Freak older than okay. him, a little bit older. when performing. Don't lie, when performing, um, I forgot the name of the song. The always be at Sally's. I know uh, Sally's name, yeah. Yeah, so when performing, and don't front your shit either. Hey girl, what's your name? Or the Sally's record, what record, like, turn or you get the most, like, energy from? Mm -hmm. Depend where I'm at. Say that. Say that. Depend okay. where I'm at. That hey girl gonna go crazy everywhere. Every, yeah, for sure. That for Sally's sure. gonna turn the thugs all the way. Right, right, right. Everybody, anybody on the on the bull corn is gonna be like, wait. Right. They right. feel it because it's it's engineer crazy. It's gonna that's a secret I'm getting youngsters too. Engineer your music crazy to where it sounds like you already in the whip. Right, right, right. You know what uh, I mean? tweak on that. What's your yeah, yeah. Like the, the bass is just hitting so crazy right. that when you when you at a show oh, oh, oh. and they play everybody that's else. That's Rob Lowe? No. Sally's is me or Rob Lowe. That's Rob Lowe? Yeah, me or Rob Lowe for sure. Everything. Oh, you Rob produce too? Yeah, I produce. Say I that. I say that. Yeah, okay. Did the whole Dope Guns of Religion. That okay. Was you know <laughs> say that. Say I that. I did um, uh, say, Girl Say, Jack. That's uh -huh. me. Jack. Oh, Jack. Boom, 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 Never. boom. Never. That's me, bro. Look on the vinyl. Never. Look on the vinyl. Produced by the us. You feel me? That's crazy. That's my brother. That's brother. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. He learned something new bro, every day. I played day. some stuff on that for sure. But I'm just saying, you know, it was Rob's setup. He said, though, but I, I that was me. Scratching everything. Right, right. The, you know what I mean? We was, we was on our hip-hop shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 What did y'all get that uh, kind of like East Coast vibe from? Studying music. Studying music, bro. One of my favorite rappers, Cool G Rap. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with Cool G Rap. I grew up with Big Daddy Kane. I grew up, and, and you know, around that time, Cormega, all the Queensbridge cats. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, we right, right. Queensbridge music, bro. Queen, that's like our, you know what I mean? Right, so right. When we got some money, we was like, who we going to get? That was one of our first people. We didn't right, even right. think about getting, you know what I mean? We was like, we need Cormega because we we worried about being dope. So was Cormega before Nas or after? Um. Cormega was like, that's like, you know, right, I don't know the whole time. story. And they had a little kind of issues about that whole thing. But they both great brothers. I don't know Nas like that, you know what I'm saying? But Cormega, we went to the hood and everything, you know what I mean? Shout out Cormega, Lakey the Kid, you know what I'm saying? The whole QB, you know what I'm saying? The 41st Side album and all that. I was around all of them cats when they was doing that kind of stuff. Right, right, right. But I was out there at that. I wouldn't, I'm not going to say I was their best friend, but I was around. Moving the group. You know what I'm saying? Right. Riding through New York, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's crazy. Like, we was talking about that, how. It was a show in San Francisco, and um, it was ASAP Yams was in there. Uh -huh. And he's like, man, I want to holler at the us, bro. Can I get a flick? You know what I'm saying? 
I'm like, man, that's, you know, I'm just coming to support the youngsters. I ain't really, and I had been hearing the ASAP mob, and I, I said, bro, that's, you know, we ain't, we don't, you know what I'm saying? We don't own no, we don't own the mob, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, they right, they right. can do what they want. They ain't, they ain't, you know what I'm saying? They mobbing. They got oh, it's a one mob thing, too. Remember? They was tweaking with the mob. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. We all. Too. We all up under something that's we up under something. So right, everybody right. ain't nobody entitled to no name or no you know what I'm saying? But ASAP, he took a picture, bro. And he like, bro, I grew up, bro, bumping nothing but my figures, bro, in right. high school, bro. He said, I know about y'all all I know all y'all music, bro. When y'all came to New York, bro, I was a little kid, but I wish I was there. Right. They right, had the right. whole city going. He said, shout out Jay Stallion. I'm keeping 100. He, I don't know if he said you or Lil Rule or somebody. He was talking about live wire too. He knew he's like, man. My thing, he said, lie, why? Right, right. Well, right, lie, right. he, bro. Lie's my witness, bro. Right, Rest right. in peace, ASAP. Uh, yeah. Today and is he, birthday, too, I believe. Is it? Yeah. I'm talking about the little light skin, like Puerto Rican cut. With, with the, with the birthday. GLD, mark. somebody looked that up. Today is birthday, for sure, for sure. Shout out, if shout out, ASAP, yeah, bro. Yeah. He, um, he posted the picture on his gram, bro. It was crazy. He, right, right. He talking about somebody, you know. He's been there like nine years, right? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. Sure. Yeah, but ASAP Rock, ASAP, they was this time they was through the roof. Right, right. So I'm right. like, man, that's crazy. Like just me having the initiative to say, man, I wanna, you know, I'm from a small town. It was his birthday. Huh? Yeah. I'm from a small town of gangsters and hustlers, and I want to go to New York, bro. Right, right, right. Because right. I had that mentality. When I get some money, okay, when we looking at these Jay-Z albums and all this and going to the Rock the Mike to what is it called? Rock the Bells to where? Yeah, yeah, Fuck the Bells. Yeah. We like, man, we looking at that like, bro, this that could be us. Right, right. So I get the CD. I'm like, well, we we mixing the jack. We finna mix your album at the Hit Factory, bro. Right, right. They're like, well, shit, we got the bread. Let's do it. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So right. we go to New York and master that thing. You know what I mean? Shout out to Barry and Master. You know, the, you right. know the old school and people. This, and this was El, this was um, um, El Plago Chapo Hus master. This yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. it. That's what, this is <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, this the, is no. This the, yeah, this is the you know this is the guy who thinks he can do anything <laughs> at any world. time and has all the you know what I'm saying right. So, yeah, it was you know it was a uh, it was a uh, um yeah it was a, it, was it was a, a time it, it was a beautiful time but it right. was you know it was very dark of course right right it was dark but the money was there bro I'm about you to know? cut you off mm-hmm. and I want you to be truth uh, Lil Booby James right mm-hmm. uh, Lil Booby James um, keep it a hundred with me on this bro and I don't want to keep dining back on this shit bro mm-hmm. because like I said what I've read and uh, what I've seen with my eyes. And this ain't nobody telling me nothing. This ain't me hearing it from nobody else. This is something that I witnessed. This is what I seen. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, you ask a little blood, you talk to a little blood, this man did nothing wrong, right? Straight Period. Up. And, um, up. I don't give a fuck. Solid. I don't give a fuck what whoever's going to say, whatever about this interview, the internet, that don't move me. I don't care what you motherfuckers can say. I know what I seen and I know what I saw. And my truths are, like, you can't slander. You, you feel me? It's, it's no, it's no slandering. No and, smut um, at all. No yeah. smut at all. And, and 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 I hope we can just put this in a little box and throw it away. But at the end of the day, little booby James, like, what what do you want to take from that whole experience, bro? Like like I said, not the hus. You feel me? Not the not the Bay Area mogul. Not the sure. mob figure. No, none of that. Like when you look in the mirror and see you, what do you want to take from that? Like what's your whole tweak on that? Um, one thing that I like to read on, you know, go in on is um, uh, it's different levels of manhood, right? It's different levels. So, you know, you got you got adolescence. You know what I'm saying? You got, you know, you got your 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 warriorhood, your youth, your your warriorhood, and then you got your, you know, your adulthood, and then you ultimately graduate, inshallah, if you make it to your elderhood, right? Talk to me. And we gonna, you know, we was take, we was raised to be a certain way all through it. That criminality, that child soldier that I was that I was programmed to be as a kid, and that all the things I believed and what I thought was what I was supposed to do and all that type of stuff. It don't still don't get you nothing. You know what I mean? Like, you know, what what it look like, you know, I say it like this. The game will break your heart, boy. That's yes, right. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know that, you like and but it go back to this. Another OG told me, he said, you, you take something from the table and leave the rest there. That's deep. You walk up to the table, take, take you something from the table, and leave the rest, and leave the rest there. Right, right, right. When you go for the rest of it, what's gonna happen? And when I say some of it, it don't mean, you know, don't don't be a hustler, don't don't have ambition about what you're trying to do. Right. But you can't never get all of it. 
You might get a couple, you might get some millions. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, oh man, don't try to up your hustle and do, but you know, because in the end, this shit gonna end the same way. And, and and especially the way the game is now, bro, it ain't it ain't it ain't what it was, you know what I'm saying? Like would it look like a motherfucker, you know, people uh letting people slide for all type of weirdo shit. It's all type anything is anything. You can do motherfucking do anything right now. But a motherfucker solid. They slander somebody that's solid, that's commendable. Ain't no long story short, ain't no medals and awards for this shit, bro. Why now, though? That's like why now. Ain't no medals and awards for this shit, so it'll break your heart. You know what I mean? So don't have your heart in this shit, cause your heart gonna get broken again. Whether it's a motherfucker backdoing you, whether it's a motherfucker jealous of you, or you know the negative energy, the demonic people with demonic. You know what I'm saying? The miserable people. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, this is this what y'all want? This the kind of shit y'all wanna? You know what I'm saying? They make me want to do shit like this. Is this what y'all? This the kind. Is this what y'all gonna sell y'all soul for? Right. Is this what y'all gonna sell y'all soul for, bro? This is paper, bro. This shit don't do nothing, bro. Right, right, right. This shit. I got friends that give me shit like this, bro. Right, 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 right. Based right. on my merit and the kind of person I am, bro. The kind of you know what I'm saying. The kind of guy I am, bro. They, I got friends that throw me this kind of stuff, bro. Right, right. Don't right. kill yourself for this shit, bro. This shit don't mean nothing, bro. Right, all right, you youngsters, right. bro, don't kill yourself with this shit, bro. Talk to him. You do good, and good will follow you through all your days, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, I don't even need to put that there because I don't want people to idolize that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just paper. But, you know, I learned a lot in life, right? So, when the, like you said, slander, backdoor, jealousy, the evil eye, you know what I mean? I just, I, 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 that, I attracted all that with my actions because. I was a very braggadocious person. I'm the hustler. I'm your bitch's favorite. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking around. I'm doing this. I'm peacocking. You know what I'm saying? I got the long hair. I got the six pack. I'm tall. I'm handsome. All the women like me. I'm the I'm the chip tooth guy that all the bitches like. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not because of the jury. And I got the shit. You know what I'm saying? I barely wear it. They're like, bro, Hus brought out kid today. We got this shit, but we don't give a fuck about this shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about wearing all this, all this, this shit. I mean, it's, I'd like to do it, but I don't, it's not my life. So I was the guy who always didn't need no validation, bro. I was just doing shit for the sake of doing it, bro. And being braggadocious and, you know, doing all, you know, it was just, it was just something I just end up doing. And that brings all that hate, negativity and all that. So when all it was time, when it was time for me to accept my punishment, I accepted my punishment with gratitude. That's, that's prison. Prison was college for me, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to go to college. I want to go to college, but I'm an anti-establishment person. So I'm not going to, you know what I mean? I don't want to be under an indoctrine. And not to be racist, but I don't want to be under that, 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 that the racist establishment's indoctrine. You know, people write these curriculums that don't, you know what I'm saying, that don't have your best interest in, in mind. Right. So I knew that I, that wasn't my lane, going to get taught and being validated from a piece of paper from a white man. You know what I'm saying? I had to go to my own college, the college itself. You know what I'm talking about? And I, and I used that time. And when I got it, I realized, bro, I'm all this punishment. I'm glad for it. Right. This if 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 motherfuckers slander me and hate me is the worst I gotta go through. I'm happy, bro. Right. Cause right. I got brothers that's dead. My brother Jack ain't coming back. My brother Freak ain't coming back. My little brother Fluke ain't coming back. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people, bro, that I love dearly, bro. That I shed tears for right now. You know what I mean? If I could, I don't really have tears. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of a my head is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Not the, I'm not saying I'm the toughest and craziest nigga. You seen what I've been? You know what's going on, bro. You know what levels levels of life I've been to. I don't have that kind of um, mind to where I think that that's, oh, man, this is crazy. Because guess what? When it was time for my real blessings, Allah SWT was there, bro. The creator was there, bro. That's what I want y'all youngsters to think, bro. What some sucker got to say don't mean nothing. No jealousy don't mean nothing. Even if a motherfucker, you take an L or something, motherfucker, get on you, whatever. That don't, that ain't the end of your life. You still breathing, cause guess what? Them, that's just part of the game. You know what I mean? Okay. You win something, you lose something, whatever. You know what I mean? They can't fuck with me with these hands. They can't fuck me with the iron, so they gotta use their mouth. You know what I'm saying? It, like I said, they go back to women, the most powerful people in the world. What do they use? Their mouth. They mouth. Okay. A prostitute, you go use her mouth to 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 build an empire. You get what I'm saying? With a slick tongue and a, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a, and soft lips. These men have adapted that. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? I'm going to get on here and think of something I can say with my mouth, with my throat, and vibrate my throat. It's like getting some top, and if she doing like, oh, I don't know what she doing, but it feel good. These dudes and took that, took that mentality 
and said, I'm going a, I'm to a think of something with my mouth and say it out of my mouth and do it, and it's going to cause all this type of commotion. They changed the narrative with their mouth. Right, right, right. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So I thought, so fast forward to all that. That's Pat. We can go back to that later on. When I, you asked me how I felt about all the tribulations I went through and how do I feel about it, it don't, it don't phase me at all, bro, because my blessings are so great. When you, young men, when y'all, when y'all in that delivery room, and you and and your woman in there, your queen, is about to give birth to your seed that you've been waiting on and stressing on and nourishing and all this, and you you powerless. All that gangster shit, all that your pistol can't help you right now. Your gangster, your reputation, your none of that can matter. You call you you calling on something else. Let my baby come out of there healthy, bro. Yes, you know what I'm saying? And when that baby come out of there and them eyes open up. And you see them hands covered in life fluid, and you see all the fingers, and you see it moving. You see his lungs operating his own at his own. All these stages, it's all who is it that that it's a you know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. That's where the good, that's who, who your character is matter in them kind of situations. You know what I'm saying? So sure. I've been blessed in those. You know what I'm saying? I've been blessed in those situations, bro. In abundance. And and it, far beyond I can even imagine, bro. I can't sure. billions of dollars don't really mean nothing. This shit. Don't even measure up to your, looking in your kids' eyes, bro, and, and they and they and they just like you or better than you. Right, 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 right. They look better than you. You know what I'm saying? Cause your they baby your baby mama fine. So the kid came out, he roared in you. You like, I wish this how I looked when I was little. You know what I'm saying? So right, right, right. when you when you when you get them kind of blessings, what I look like a sucker that's you know what I'm saying, that don't even come on, bro. That don't you know what I'm saying? Like I I'm I'm stingy and you know we always gotta remember the creator, bro. Right. We always got to remember the creator, bro. So you got to remember them blessings, bro. Why now, you know what I'm though? Saying? Like, why now? Like, why have the 20 years? Like, why now? Like, what irritated you to even uh, to even entertain just this conversation? Well, you got to realize, bro, we got a, we got a young generation out there. It's another generation, bro. And I refuse to let any type of demonic energy, you Say know, it. people yeah. that's conveying this energy, push it on to another generation, bro. Because we got cats out there, you know what I'm saying? That when I talk about youngsters, I never preach to them. I always say, bro, gangsters, it got to be gangsters. It is what it is. That's part of culture. That's part of uh, poverty. That's part of, you know, trying to make it, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. It's going to be some gangsters and it's going to be some, you know, whatever else is going to be. But it's going to be some gangsters. But what I like to tell them is, I want to be like, bro, all you youngsters, bro, the same thing that gave you heart, that gave you the top cloud and whatever, you know what I'm saying? That same heart you got, to, to, I'm talking about the ones that's actually sliding. I'm talking about the ones that's actually, you get what I'm saying? I'm talking about the real ones, bro. I'm not talking about the sympathizers. I'm not talking about the you know the, the cheerleaders. I'm talking about the ones on the front line. This is to y'all. That same heart you got, you can put that to something else, bro, and it'll 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 go so crazy for you, bro. Without yeah. legit or not, whatever it is. It'll go because you ain't getting no compensation for this, bro. All they're going to do is tell on you. They scared to death of you, bro. They scared to death of y'all, bro. They're going to get y'all out the way. They're going to tell on y'all. They're going to backdoor y'all, all this shit, bro. So you up against everything, young nigga. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you somehow, some way, figure out how to put that energy into something that can, you know what I'm saying? It sounds corny. I know that, bro. And a lot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no. But I know it's a lot of them out there. A lot of the young niggas. Uh, that I know, I'm talking about killers, bro. I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to glorify. And I'm talking about, we talking about killers, bro. Let's just be 100, bro. We talking about, we talking about killers, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're we talking about, talking about killers, bro. Yeah. Anybody that live that life, bro, they don't, they know that ain't, the, that ain't, that ain't what they want. You get what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sir. Not saying they're scared of or nothing, but that, you know, when people go to funerals, you know why, you know, you know why they really cry? They don't cry because they miss people. They do. They do miss people. I take that back. They miss people. But deep down inside, you know that one day that's going to be you. Wow. You get what I'm saying? One day that's going to be you in there. That shit like one that. day that's going to be, you know, that's every crazy. time we look at a corpse or anything, you know that one day, or even if you don't think that is, you might think it's never going to be you, but it could be you. You get what I'm saying? Because if they missed them, if they really missed them and couldn't live without them, they would get in the hole with them. Damn, that's crazy. You love them that much? You miss them that much? Get in the hole with them and, and spend the rest of eternity with them then. Get in there with them and, and, you know, they put the dirt on top of you. They don't, people don't want, you know, people people want to enjoy life, bro. 
that's, that's crazy. So a lot of these youngsters, I want to, I, I like to, I like to. That's what I'm really into. But I, I feel like this negative energy, like you said, coming towards me, it kickstarted a whole nother beast. Because like I said, I take pride in being a man. So you know, when you adapt through situations, like your brother say, the truth is is tried by fire. It's refined. It didn't been sure. through. The truth sure. can't be the truth unless it been through. It didn't been tested. It didn't been. Hammering on, it had been sure. take a piece of it to see if it's real. You know what I'm saying? It, sure. it can stand anything. The truth is the truth, bro. And that's why I walk around the way I walk around, bro. You know what I'm saying? With whatever I want to do, drive any kind of car I want, do whatever I want, wear any kind of watch. And ain't you know, ain't no, you know, it's a lot of talk. But who, you know what I'm saying? Who, who, you know what I'm saying? It ain't been none of that. You know what I mean? So I try to tell you, I don't know how I got to that because I don't want to make it about me. Like at this point, this point, this old chapter, I don't want it about me. This is about the kids, bro. Put your motherfucking mind, just try doing something, uh, I don't even want to use the word good, because a lot of motherfuckers don't got hope about good. They feel like ain't nothing good coming out of good, whatever. Put your energy into doing something that could build you in a certain way, and watch how it happens. You know what I'm saying? Watch how that happens, bro. When you when you put yourself in a certain light, like, you like, boy, you know, I'm eating clean, or I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm let me quit bullshitting, and let me quit doing some, doing some weird shit. Let me quit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Cause you know when you're making bad decisions, you oh, know. Yeah. Unless you got mental illness, a lot of people do have mental, and that that's a whole other issue for the young niggas that got mental illness. We got to talk about that too. A lot of people got mental illness, so you know what I mean. I feel like I'm down in one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, when I look back, people tell me about shit I did. I don't remember, bro. Like, bro, you you fired on me, bro, back in the days, bro. I fuck with your music though. I'm like, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> like, bro, I fired on you, bro. That's crazy. And I don't even remember it, bro. I'm like, bro, I fired on you, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's come on, bro. That ain't you know what I'm saying. I, how many people out there like that, bro? Because I was just in my nigga. You know who you talking? You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So I was like, bro. I, so I know a lot of these kids. And they say that most youth, black males in America, from the, I believe I don't don't quote me on this, but this is like some human behavior psychological study type shit. Most youths that's with a single mother in mm -hmm. home from I believe it's 15 to 18 are almost the equivalent to being schizophrenic. You know, you yeah, know why? Yeah. Because you getting raised by a woman, right? Right. Yeah. Your mama tell you do this, tell you do that, tell you do that. You love your mama. You love your mama. You listen to mama. You listen to grandmama. But guess what? I'm a man now. I'm in the streets. So what you telling me don't don't apply to these streets, mama. So now I got some. I got a voice in my head telling me, well, bro, you know what I'm saying? You got to pick that hammer up, and uh, you know what I'm saying. Now you got the hammer. So now you're like, I got the hammer, I'm through the hood. Like, well, you got a hammer, you got to start using it. So I'm like, what, I'm, I'm a rob. So now you you debating because you got your mom in your head saying, boy, you better not do that. You better go to school. And in your head, you're like, nigga, I'm a gangster now. Like, you know what I mean? So you got all these voices, and them voices, is that's what schizophrenia that's is. Fucking with you. Not yeah. saying I'm an expert on that, but that, that, this is something I read about. And that's how I was, bro. I knew I was doing wrong when I would do something mani. I'm like, bro, that was kind of mani. I'm like, block it out. It's part of the street. Then you gotta, you had to get on him. You know, I'm like, bro, you didn't have to do that, bro. You right, know what right. I'm saying? You firing on people and stripping people. That's not right, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, it's the streets. We men, and that's part of the game. So I was, I felt like I was ignoring my moral compass as far as like doing good for humanity, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you 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 get developed into a very uh. It's violent out there. Our kids are, are, are uh, they weaponized our music. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Say that. It's weapon, the, the music is weaponized. The food is weaponized. The propaganda is weaponized. The self-hate is at an all-time high. We got so many different issues in the black community because, uh, you know, and it's all on purpose. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. And if, if people don't understand, don't start seeing that, you know? How many people in, 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 the, in the pen right now like, yeah, bro. He got on Wooty Woo, and that been so long that them people cool now. Or, you know what I mean? Right. That, that beef ain't even that good. They had beef yeah. before, like you know what I'm saying. You didn't die over some, or went to you know what I'm saying. So it's just a lot, bro. I don't really want to preach, bro, and all that, bro. But you're supposed to. That's what Low Blood TV for. Okay, okay, bro. Shit. Okay, yeah, bro. Shit. I just try to, you know, I just don't want to, you know, I, I I like being in tune with the with the people in the most darkest places, bro. Right, right. That's right. that's why this, the how can somebody. Fuck us on the keyboard. Fuck throw me off, from, and I'm dealing with killers, bro. Fuck what you think a motherfucker gonna think about. Fuck all that. This is therapeutic. This is helping somebody. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, we yeah. don't do this. I don't. Yeah. I tell people all the time. I don't do this shit for clickbait. I don't do this shit to go super viral. If that was the case, nigga, we'd be 
super, super viral. Yeah, like, yeah. we don't reach. We don't do that exactly, type of shit over exactly. here. Yeah, like, bro, you real, feel yeah. me? This shit, I, my viral moment, it's like I say all the time, is when, you know, people coming to me like, bro, I was watching an interview with you and Hush, bro, and like, it changed my life, bro. Like, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. my viral moment. Yeah, so, exactly. fuck all that. This ain't that. This ain't, we don't mash it up. Like, nigga, yeah. like, you because never- Because I, I got a, I got a debt. I'm in debt, bro. I still well, I don't know if I don't whatever. I'm not the judge of it, but I personally myself, I feel like I put enough uh criminality out in the world as far as like, you know, promoting all the shit that we was cause we was fanatics of it. You know right. what I'm saying? So many people come up to me, bro, we used to break shit off off this song. Well, I pop woo doo whoop off this, I pop woo doo, I did this off that boy. When that came on, boy, it made, it brought me back to a whole nother and I'm like, man, what have I done? You know what I'm saying? Man, I'll put my hood on. I am a victim to that. Like Do you know what I mean, bro? Boy. And it's like, bro, you supposed to be like, bro, I heard you say, you know, something about a Shahada, bro, and I went and learned, or I heard you talk about some Hadiths, or I heard you, you know what I'm saying, T I heard you say, bro, church is going, you know, whatever, it's church, is like, I, it was always, bro, I didn't, bro, I, bro, I left the bitch at the room, or I, you know what I'm saying, right. I burnt rubber on the bill, or I, nigga, I popped, nigga, I was, nigga, that whole summer, I was off that motherfucking, uh. Murder on my mind, breaking shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Killing people, bro. Off right, the, right, you know what right. I'm saying? Off something that I didn't create it, bro. And it's like, it's funny, but it's, you know what I mean? No, but you still got that curve. No, that's where you was at when you was making that type of music. So I'm not going to charge it to your head. Yeah, bro. I, 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 so it's like, nigga, shit, that's what you was doing. Yeah, Like, bro. that's where we was so at. I'm at the level where now where I'm, I'm, you know, you, you got to grow as a man, bro. Right. And it ain't about saying whoever doing something is not a man, because it's men. It's many levels of manhood. But I'm, I'm, I want to go into my elderhood, bro, where people still respect me. Where they like, okay, it's, as far as listening to, this ain't some old corny ass nigga that just want to talk about what he could have did. You know what I'm saying? I'm still doing whatever I need to. Do. I'm still doing anything I can do, bro. Like I said, I still got access to anything I ever that I, you know, what I'm saying wanted to do or whatever. I can still do anything, bro. But it's not. I'm not interested in that like that. That's why they say you want to do music, bro. What's why you ain't? Do I said, bro, I don't. It don't even. When I go to clubs and I'm sitting in the club, bro, without it don't really. It don't. I'm not. I'm wasting the seat, bro. I'm wasting somebody else's seat. Somebody could be in the seat, bro, having the time of their life, bro. Like I did 20 years ago. Right, 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 right. When I was 16, 17 year olds in the club, you know what I'm saying, drinking whatever, doing what I was doing. That shit don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's a time where only a man, only a only a fool lives his life in a hula hoop. <coughs> you get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at with that. With the, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm. That's why I, I don't know what the question was, but that's that's where I'm at. That's what I give you my take on. That's what I want to do, yeah, bro. It was hella questions. <coughs> yeah, yeah. But um, not to just have you here all day tweaking. Uh, no, it's good, bro. We we here. Let's, let's five do years. Tell me what you want to see from Hustler in the next five years. Um. First of all, I'm gonna let y'all know. Like I said, I don't know if I got too deep into it, but we don't. We relaunch. We relaunching artist records, which was me and my brother Jack started. You, know you what didn't saying? say that. That's what you was telling. We yeah, was talking about the car. We relaunching the artist records, and uh, to develop and cultivate some talent with the youngsters, and give. Like I said, when I was talking about all you killers and all that, who, who you know, who, who people who got a certain heart, they got a certain heart and they got a certain pedigree, uh -huh. but they not getting compensated for it. You know, all they gonna right. say, bro, killer. They not getting what you deserve, bro. You deserve, Burn, you know, some water. I hear you, bro. You deserve a house on the hill. You deserve a family. You deserve a beautiful wife. You deserve wit. You deserve jewelry. Whatever you, you deserve all that. Instead of just, I got the hammer and I'm, I'm shooting until I die. Right, 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 right. A lot of you young kings, bro, y'all shooting until you die. You deserve way more than that. Right, now, right. some of them, that's what they want. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, that's what they want. They like, bro, I want to go out as a legend. I want to go out as a legend uh -huh. in this street shit. You know what I'm saying? I want my body count to be what I'm known for. You know what I'm saying? And I can't knock that either. That's what, you know what I'm saying. If, that, if that's what you're standing on, that's what you. That's what you. That's how why, you coming. Why was it artist records? Because it's that's what we focus on art artists. You know what I'm saying? And and the artist, an artist, an artiste. You know what I'm saying? Is a somebody who's a, a artiste is somebody who uh put that shit to fuck that now. <laughs> That's up, Jack. Do a cuss somebody out, act like he cussed his pot out just to be funny. But uh, an artist is um somebody who's uh very well uh uh skilled in the, in a er certain area, right? So you know, you know, hustling was hard for me. 
You know what I'm saying? You remember the old school saying, the jack artist, right. the nigga that slap artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the artist is like, bro, we, you know, we serious about the, it's the music first. Like I said, it ain't about the clout and the streets and the gangster shit and selling dope and we sell keys and all. You, I used to talk about a lot of dope, but you would never even talk about the, you know what I'm saying? They would never hear what was going on in that music. Right, 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 right. Because I ain't nothing to talk about. You know what right. I'm saying? So, um, that's why I would talk about having fun and riding scrapes and all that shit because that was, you know, that was that's something that the people can digest. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about all this nonsense, but it's artist records for that reason, bro. It's focused on art. You know, we listen to a lot of dance hall, we study a lot of dance hall, and dance hall is a culture that's focused on art. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's focused on how dope you is, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's period. The dance music. halls is is focused on how do- your styley. How raw you can come? How original? Are you original sound? Right. What school are you under? Are you are you making your OGs proud? You know what I'm saying? Right. If you come from this school of music, say you come from this area of Kingston 11, or you come from Spanish Town or whatever, like is you holding that legacy still? Where you got Spanish Town still number one, or you got Wooty Woo? We come from that that theology with music to where we feel like we gonna be the, we always want to be the dopest, and that's another reason why I don't make a lot of music as much as I use because I, I want to make music at the, the dopest level. I, I don't want to make music for the sake of music. Right, right. I don't do a hundred albums just so I can get. You know, the right. more music I do, the more uh, revenue, the royalties I can get. I'm not wrong knocking that. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people who do that and make good music while they're doing that. But I like my catalog to be it is what it is. It's it's kind of it's not good for me financially, but it's just for me personally. You know, as a proud person of my integrity with music, I feel like I don't. I ain't gonna water my catalog down, bro. Because I don't, you know, if I ain't got the right producers, the right moment, I, if I don't feel a certain way, I'm not gonna make no music, bro. Because it's yeah. cat. I'm not gonna make no music that ain't at the level that I would like it to be. You know what I'm saying? So that's what artist records about, bro. So all y'all youngsters out there, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if you feel like you can't rap or you whatever, bro. If you got the if you got certain something I can see in you, then I'm gonna try to develop you, bro. We're gonna put some of this bag on, put some of this bag behind you, and you know what I'm saying? That go for content creators, that go for videographers, that go for, you know what I'm saying? We finish gives, you know what I mean, an outlet for the youngsters, bro, to kind of, I basically, everything that I've acclimated as far as music-wise, I want them to have access to it. Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? I want y'all to have access to that, bro, so that's what Artist Records is about. I want y'all to have access to everything that, I, that I've that uh, i achieved in this music, as far as music and art, and you know, we got people at labels, and it's people we grew up with, and people that was fans that's at labels, and running labels, and and doing all kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So films and all kind of stuff. So that's kind of what we doing, bro. I just I'm obligated to get back to the to the to the trenches, bro. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about the state of music now, from then to now? Like, do you or do you do you do you listen to it? I mean, I'm saying not music, but just hip hop. Like, are you into it now? Like, how you feel about it? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't listen to a lot of music. Like, I listen mostly dance hall and. You know what I mean? I'm a, like a Deftones fan and stuff like that, bro. K's oh. an elephant. Like, I listen to different kind of music because I listen to music that's like, you know, on some... I like to tweak with my music, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't digest it so much music that, you know, it's only so much I can... You know what I mean? It's a lot of youngsters. I be hearing it's like they, they doing the same thing with a different... Because that's everything is. Right, right. Everything is something recooked. So I was like, they... It's some... I'm kind of... That's another reason why I decided to start doing some... Uh, artist development and management, all that stuff, because I've been hearing some stuff that get a little potential, bro. I can't really put no names on it at the moment, but I've been hearing stuff like, he clean. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Like some little cats, like, man, they clean. You know what I mean? I can hear something. It might be something I might critique, like, they could have did this with, because that's just how right, I right, 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 right. I don't like none of my music. If you ever want to know one thing about me, too, it's another thing. So we here, we talking about us, man. I don't really like a lot of my music. Why? Um, I'm a very, I'm a, I'm a perfectionist, bro. I'm a, I'm a super, uh, I critique things to the smallest, you know, very few songs have gotten through and I'd be like, man, I wish I could have changed that or did that better. Right, I messed right. up right there. And people like that, was, for instance, that Animal Planet, right? That people say it's like a classic, uh, compilation. Demolition Man. Demolition Man. Yep. That album was all throwaways. It has some Jay Stalin cuts on there too. Well, not you. That's Jack Boy. Jack Stalin. Yeah, Jack was like this. Yeah, so yeah. I'm talking about the me and Jack stuff. The stuff that me right, and the stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Before we got other people. I'm not saying. Yeah, the, I know that. Yeah, but yeah, that's, yeah, what, yeah. that's how I really like the Animal Planet. Yeah, Animal Planet. I was like, uh, and a lot of people don't know Jack is like a great part of Stalin's career. Like 
it was the they never boys, blink, they boys, right? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, like, I, you know we don't like taking. I don't, you know what I mean? So I, I feel like Stalin would have made it with, without anybody. You know what I mean? Sure, y'all would have made but, it without y'all. Some y'all was some Stalin, my brother. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That never blink definitely put a different like. See, I wasn't there. You was in Oakland, yeah, so you know we just we just yeah. knew he was raw. You know what I'm saying? We seen him. We used to be at Don Tweed and them. We like, bro, these little dudes is tight. You know what I'm saying? So we, we rocking with them. Jack, Jack, like I said, Jack always had an eye. Remember I told that back in back in the interview? Jack sees greatness in people, bro. And, and even the people who he, you won't even know that they great. And you know what I mean? Jack would know. They might know they great, but Jack right. would know they was great. And he would, he, would, he would form people into great people, bro. I'm not saying he formed them, but he would encourage them to be. You know what I'm saying? So if it, sometimes that's all it takes. It's like, boy. Man, bro, just told me I was raw. You know what I'm saying? And right. that you like, I got confirmation now because you might have been doing this shit your whole time and nobody ain't really. Pay they probably like, man, he finna be, he finna get big and he, they might, whatever, whatever. And so Jack would always encourage people. He was a very encouraging brother, bro. Yes, sir. And, yes, uh, sir. Yeah, that. But yeah, I'm a. Um, the animal plan was all this. They was like, we finna. I was like, we had a whole computer. We would make music all day. You know what I'm saying? We would have so many. We had hundreds of songs. A mix. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, like this. These songs, bro. Let's just give them these. They throw away. We knew there was some of them dope. You know what I mean? Of course, they ain't like we thought it was weak, but right, right. it was like we ain't giving them the real shit. We ain't giving them the dope shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, we, right. we harvesting the dope shit, and we like, huh, bro? Here you go. You know what Do I'm saying? you still got music from that era? That yeah, hasn't been put out. Yeah, I got hard drives, bro. I got hard yeah, drives. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I see. Cause nigga, you got papers that's nigga twenty something years old. Oh yeah, yeah. Nigga, original briefcases. Yeah, bro. And I shit got like shoes. That. Rat, yeah, bro. I got shoes, boy. That I got shoes, boy. That's you know what I'm saying. I got I got Rick from when people didn't know who Rick was. You know what I mean? I, I keep. I'm a that's what I do, bro. People right, know right. they like us. He got pictures. He got all the, you know what I'm saying? Like I preserve stuff because I appreciate everything I get. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Coming from Pittsburgh, California, coming from the El Pueblo area, coming from Carpino area, coming from all these little areas where it's not a lot. Right? I'm appreciating every everything I get, bro. Right, right. I still, all them cars, you see me with all that, I still got all them cars, them 73s and all that shit, and them drops and shavs and all that. I don't even drive them, bro, but I still got them. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, because right. I appreciate everything I get. I'm one of those dudes. Some people get shit and they just, it just, I, I appreciate you because I know what it's like not to have, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, question. Um, do you think you put out your best music yet? Uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. In a sense, I feel like I put out my, I was more enthused. I was more, uh, I had more ambition about music. And I don't know if I, if I can regain that to where I have a hunger for doing music. And that's what I want to do. And it's my passion. I love it. Right. I really don't know if I'm going to love music the way I used to love music. You get what I'm saying? Based on just industry and, you know what I'm saying, the evil eye, the way people, you know what I'm saying, the things it brings. I'm like, bro, I realize how powerful this is. You know, you rap about having all the women, you're going to end up with a lot of women and a lot of kids and a lot of baby mama drop, you know what I'm saying? You rap about being a killer, you're going to end up killing a few motherfuckers. You rap about, you know what I'm saying, you're going to manifest it with them words, bro. They're very strong, that vibration. So... It's like I'm lyric music. I'm tired of people hating on me because I'm I'm nice looking and the women like you know it's just a lot, bro. So it's like sometimes you want to step back, bro. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So um, I might be too handsome to do music, bro. <laughs> 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 this nigga right here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this nigga, bro. Gap two, gap two guy, all the girls like, man. man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, you've been burnt before. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Here we go. He <laughs> you know how to shut. He know how oh, to you know shut a nigga up, boy. Licking your, this nigga licking his thing. Well, no, I'm going to All right, bro. Okay, bro. My bad, bro. <laughs> right, I ain't going to. You're right. I'm going to go back to being it's serious, love, bro. Love. It's love. See, bro. that's a good host. He'll check you when you start acting ignorant. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He said, You want to act ignorant? I'll take it. Your blood will get ignorant. Please, blood. Let's not. We owe some serious stuff, bro. All right. My bad, I'm bro. Tweaking my eyes and shit, brother. <laughs> but, um, Hus, bro, I appreciate your truth. I appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm. And, um, just before we just wrap it up, bro, um, my heart was going out to you, uh, I had to say you do some shit that was real. Uh, you know, I'm going to call it ball to ball and strike a strike. Yeah. It was real boosy and out of pocket. And uh, we're, you know, we both know what we're talking about. And we're, um, and I said that because I know what type of brother you are. I wouldn't really call it out of pocket because on some. No, no, listen. With listen, standard. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Why I say out of pocket is because. Uh, of me. Yeah, of yeah. you. It's who okay. you are and you yeah. know what you the knowledge you have, like everything you gain and um at that moment when I was seeing that and paying attention to that, like I said, you know, we 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 spoke. 
right, mm. you know, during that time. And I was like, uh, like, bro, you have to realize you're God, bro, and you're letting, uh, you know, peasants and people that's not godly, like, you know? Yeah. And um, I'm proud and I'm glad that we're here holding this conversation because in them type of moments, like, you know, it's like, what if? You get what I'm saying? The what oh, yeah. ifs. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, and I, you know what? I appreciate That's why when you gave me that call, I appreciate you because, uh, you know, like I said, bro, I have a past where, bro, I can see red. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? I can see red, bro. And I'm going to be honest with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, 100% honest, bro, you know, I get like that. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So from a standard, from a standard, if you look at it, like you say, with my stature, and you know, who I am and, you know, my the level I am in life and, you know, all the things I've, you know, all the, you know, whatever, the success I have and all that. That's just boosy and corny, bro. What is you doing jumping out like that? Right, right. And but, we're not talking about hustler like the music. Yeah, right? yeah, not the end not about you. Yeah, not like, the interfere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not the interfere, but you know what, bro? I'm not perfect. And guess what? Thank you. Come on, talk to I me. still got that criminality. Like I said, it's the child soldier. Nothing nothing else. It, I can get to a point where nothing else matters. Right, 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 right. You get what I'm saying? I can't right. fight no internet. What can I do? Right, 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 right. I can show you how to what extent I'm gonna go to. Right, 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 right. What can I do? Right. I hear you. If you, you know, if you if if a person is on a certain frequency and it's like, bro, I can't fight you on the net. Right. We, we don't make statements. We don't go to jail for statements. Ain't no statements in our PSI. <laughs> You can't show it, you know what I'm saying? A man alive can say I made a statement on him. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You can twist his narrative and try to see, this mean this and ain't nothing. It just don't work like that. Right. But what I can do is pull up and do pull ups. <laughs> With that, man, <laughs> um, um, bro, I appreciate your truth. Not to be funny, bro, but I'm just saying that's. I feel like, bro, enough is enough, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it's enough going on out here, bro. We, our people is is. is you know what I'm saying? And I hate to sound like, you know what I'm saying, like a preacher, like I said, but bro, we 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 gotta get rid of these that sucker shit, bro. Sucker shit do not work. Y'all zoom in on that, bro. Sucker shit do not work, bro. And if it do, it's gonna be very temporary. And you're gonna pay that price for it. But can I say this? You know what I mean? It ain't about no motherfucking uh like a thread and none of that, bro. You know what I mean? Like I said, I got a saying with my brother. I said, bro, that cap can turn into a cap. You right. feel me? That cap can turn into a hat, bro. Right. That right. cap can, that cap can, uh, that, listen what I said, bro. That cap can turn into a hat. And I ain't talking about the hat that that that, that, that you buy at the store. I'm talking about one of these kind of hats. Right, right, right. So, um, Pete, this, just because you're my bro, I'm going to Tweak on that. Tweak on that. Um, yeah. Guys gotta stop entertaining sucker shit. Yeah, you yeah, feel me? yeah. Like, um, yeah. and yeah. you right. You know, it's love and shout shit. out our system, bro. You know, we folk, we 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 divert our energy to where it needed to be. And uh, but what I, we refuse to let y'all poison the youth, bro. Say that we refuse to let y'all poison the youth. And I hate to say that I had to step out there on some. You know, what I'm saying whatever it was, whatever it was gonna be to the neck. You know what I'm saying to the neck. Whatever it's gonna be. I'm willing to, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the kind of, I didn't been the, at them depths before. Yes, Whatever is going, I don't, I can't fight you, bro. I'm not going, as far as the net, I can't, excuse me, I can't fight the keyboard, brother. I can't, but I, what I can do is, is show up somewhere, you know what I mean? Because when I come from, men have conversations. Men have conversations, bro. And I don't want really to keep talking. We, we might have to edit a little bit of that to make it, you can quit making it. But you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm Man, saying? Editing shit, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? We don't, wanna, we don't wanna get, I mean, it's negativity, bro, like you said. You know what I mean? Fuck, yeah, editing that, nigga. You know what the mean, fuck? Bro. Hustler, hustler. I'm gonna do this shit like that. Yeah, hustler. man, but I just, you know, I, um, and a lot of my good brothers say, bro, we don't, you know, you ain't even gotta, you know, I really, to be honest with you, bro, I really don't even have to, I don't even want to get back in the criminal mindset, but I don't got to do nothing, bro. You know that. I don't got to do nothing, bro. Can I borrow $20? I'm just, I'm just, uh, can I borrow $20? For sure. Uh, no, hell no. I'm, no, I'm for the, this is what mm -hmm. I'm going to do. I'm going to give you advance, and when this video come back, y'all going to be eating, boy. This going to be the top, bro. This going to be the top, boy. Bro, this nigga, I, I just $20, gave you, though? God, just, yeah, you got good. that. You got the dub, because when you going to be having this, boy, 
Boy, this 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 little blood TV, boy. Yeah. This, Taco media. This boy he say she say. Yeah, this all this finna go. Media. This finna go, boy. This finna because I don't. I've never done an interview. Yeah, I've never. And this ain't even an interview. We politics. We're building. Yeah, exactly. We do this without this. Like, yeah, you feel yeah, me? I, so, I ain't never did this, bro. Yeah, you know like we shout do out this you because that. I gave you my word. I was gonna do this over a year ago, and I'm gonna keep it real. I was avoiding you. Cause I said, man, he doing something good, and I you owe him that hus. You owe, you owe little blood his it, to put your to contribute to what he got going, bro. And I was right. like, bro, I don't like interviews. Right, I don't like right. music. Keep me out. I don't even want to be part of no conversations. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? And by the grace of him, do a lot. You know what I'm saying? What? It pulled me out. They pulled me out of retirement on some just. You know what? And I said, you know what? Before, I, like you said, before I go anywhere else. I didn't already made my obligation. I didn't. I shook your hand, bro. Yes, sir. As a man, what did I do when I seen you at the uh, high road day? Yes, shook, sir. You, you cornered me. You caught me. You said, "Hurt." Yeah, yeah. But it, two weeks ago, when well, my boy hit you, that's another thing, you boy. Me? My you, boy just Facetimed you, like, "Man, we here with the mural for my boy." August, right? What's it for? August. Rest in peace, August, it was man. For August. Rest and, in peace, uh, August, yeah. man. My boy did. I hit me. Like, bro, I'm right here with the hus. And yeah, we wrapped and built. And you yeah, said, you, and even then, you said, bro, I want to talk to you. Yes, sir. Without the camera, bro. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I just want to, I just like building with you, bro. Yes, sir. I, I want to talk to you, bro. I like, I enjoy our conversation, bro. Yes, sir. I love you. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't no nonsense going on or nothing. It wasn't no. even no, it ain't like we on this for cloud and we trying to clear nah, nothing. This is What's what understood is understood. Real yes, ones sir. know the umbrella. No, it's an umbrella out yes, there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? It's dude, it's an umbrella out there, bro. Yes, it's sir. a reason why I can do what I want to do. And, and I'm talking about being, I'm from the treacherous eras, bro. I've right. been in Oakland 25 years, bro. Just go back to that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And before that, being in Richmond and Pittsburgh and, you know what I'm saying, traveling across the country, bro, I'm here. Right, right, right. Yes, Looking sir. good, smelling good. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, bro, with a sound mind. Alhamdulillah. Can talk and put sentences together. I got a lot of people who... You know, that I love a lot that's burnt out. That I gotta forgive their deeds like bro, bro, catting, blood tripping. What I got, you know what I'm saying? That's but he can't help it, bro. Mental illness is 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 rampant in our community, bro. We up against it, bro. So it, you know how big of it, I mean, excuse me, because I it big of me. You know how difficult it was for me to put my pride to the side and say, man, this motherfucker been talking wet, and you know what I'm saying? Or, you you disrespecting me, bro. You don't ever ask me nothing again. You lucky I don't smack you to learn to forgive people and say, bro, he had no, he didn't even, he don't even have enough intellect to even cipher out another way to 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 reach out to you, bro. Some people that's their language, bro. They disrespect you for you to react a certain way. And you like, bro, I come from air with disrespect. It ain't no comeback from that. Whatever, you certain thing. Certain people in their head, they don't even know how to say, bro. Bro, you've been maintaining, you've been doing everything you've been doing, bro. You didn't, bro. People respect you, people love you, bro. My bitch love you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, just, what can we do, bro? Fuck with me, bro. A lot of people didn't told me, bro, that I was ready to kill. They said, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just wanted to fuck with you. Right, right. And I couldn't understand that. I would get like people talking crazy or motherfuckers say something or, you know, tweet me or, you know, whatever. I don't even got Twitter, but you know what I'm talking about? Wooty whoop, nigga. And I'd be like, and I hit him like, bro, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I'm glad you hit me back, bro. Like, I'm I'm really a fan, bro. I just said that for you to, you know what I'm saying, bro. I just wanna let you know I love you, bro. And I wanna do some music with you, bro. Yes, sir. And I feel like if you didn't react, you because I've been hitting you, bro. And I'm like, damn, bro. I, I realize, bro, I'm in a position where I can help a lot of people. I don't think I can. I think I'm just a regular, you know what I'm saying? Just the gap tooth dude that all the chicks like. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm I don't I don't cherish all these. I don't even appreciate, bro, all my blessings, bro. And that's sad to say. I don't appreciate my blessings, bro. I don't appreciate that I could put people in position. So now I think back with a critical thinking mind and say, bro, it's people mad at me, bro, because I didn't help them, bro. Right. But I'm like, bro, I've been through, I'm traumatized myself too. Or, you know what I'm saying? I got to focus on what I'm focused on and all that. I didn't been through, I didn't ask for help. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, but some people need help, bro. You, just because everybody not you. Allah SWT made you stronger. He made you a certain way. So you don't look at it like, you know, everybody like you. It's We different. We coming all different. We all brothers, bro. It's all love. You know what I mean? It should be. You know what I'm saying? As far as on the righteous side. These people, you know, that's, they got good intentions. They might have did something wrong or did it the wrong way. But their intentions really was like, bro, I wish. And they had it. Man, what if I fucked with us, bro? What if, what if me and us did some songs together, bro? What if... You know what I'm saying? And I know it's going to strike a lot of people's, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to start forgiving people, bro. I ain't going to lie. 
Because if not, I'm going to have a long list of people to kill. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? It's either ignore them like I've been doing. That don't really work, bro, because people love you, bro. When people got emotions for you and they feel de rejected or ignored and all that, it's a lot of stuff that come with it. So I got to look at it like I might feed you with a long handle spoon, but at least, you know, start trying to, you know, so that's what this whole trying to do some music, get back in and give what I got to y'all because I, I don't cherish it, bro. I don't appreciate being a nig like that, you know what I'm saying? Because it don't matter to me. Like I said, I'm, it what matters to me is looking in my kids' eyes. You know what I'm saying? What matters to me is, you know, I got eight sons. You know what I'm saying? Having a son that's, you know, an autistic son or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like him getting three point eights and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like what they say, he might not have a function. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm I'm autistic or something. You know what I'm saying? The way I've been living my life, so I'm like, this is my. This my favorite dog right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that, bro. I, people don't know that about me, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, I got kids that I, you know what I'm saying, that I pour all my energy into. So, you know, my bad if I don't, you know, give y'all this, the huss. Right. Because I don't really, the huss is not a big part of my life. Fuck. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. The huss might be legendary to y'all. It might be a big thing. To you. Not saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to brag, bro. Yeah, I'm not, but the huss might be a, a way out or a ticket yeah. or or, or armor you can reach, but to me, I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate. I'm not. I don't really. I don't think about the hus, bro. Gross. Gross. I'm Salahuddin. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I'm. My, I'm who. I'm. I'm trying to reach. For, I'm trying to survive and live and be healthy and not be ugly. And, you know what I'm saying? And keep my mind sane and have smooth skin and drink water and take care of all these different children. And, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I'm trying to do that, bro. It's, it's very difficult. I didn't. You know my. Um, they say, you know, you know, the same thing that make you laugh can make you cry. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, you know, being a type of person where all these beautiful women, you know, always gravitate gravitate towards me. You know what I mean? When I was a kid, I was the skinny, dusty, you know what I mean? I feel like, man, I man, I bitch fuck that bitch. You know what I mean? Cause I, I really wanna feel like I'm gonna be rejected. I think I'm gonna be rejected. But she liked me. She like, man, I like you though. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when I grew into confidence and that's where all that extra and I went overboard with, not saying I went overboard, but I just, I'm a, I love women, bro. And, you know, it ended up, I have a lot of children. You know what I mean? I never talked about that, you know what I mean? Because I don't like people in my business. And um, I love all my kids, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, some of them is rocky stuff going on with the, you know, mothers and all that. But for the most part, we, you know what I'm saying? That's what I, that's what I want to do. Right, right, right. Whether right. if a woman say he ain't shit or whatever, you know what I mean? They might be like, he doing all this. Look, that money I just see on the, t you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they might be on some bullshit, but. That's what I aspire to be, bro. That's my goal. My goal is for Salah Dean to be a great dad, bro. He bad. My pops, you know what I'm saying? Because my pops was incarcerated most of my life. But I feel like his genetics that he gave me, the, the teaching that he did give me, right. his choice of a woman, he picked my mom. He picked the woman that was so strong that, you know, stuff a lot. She had to raise the kids on her own, and we did great. You know what I'm saying? Do your, you got, your pops got kids outside your mom? Uh... We not sure, but you know what I mean. But you know, not you know, pops was a, you know, pops moved around, and you know what I'm saying. Right. Pops moved around. You know, he probably got a few of them out there. And, you know, I don't know, man. Shout out pops, man. I love Big Boob. You know what I'm saying. Everybody know Big Boob, legend. And they know him all around the world. He world one now. Pops world one now. He been moving and shit. He, I get everything from him and my mom, bro. Right. So, right. but uh, I want to be, you know, I do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying. Take my kids on trips. Do this. You know, you know, I got a, you know, I had uncles and. You know, aunties and stuff that, you know, my auntie, she used to take us to the snow. And, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I was in, I don't know, Switzerland or something. You know what I'm saying? We drive up to Tahoe on the side of the freeway, bro, with some with a right. thermos full of co uh, uh, cocoa. I feel like I'm in Switzerland. You know what I'm saying? I'm right, like, bro, right, so right. I remember, I re one gift I got is I remember how people, other people cherish things. I remember the feeling, I remember how it feels to experience certain for, something for the first time, but I have kind of no feelings. Sure. My emotions is kind of like you said, maybe because everything I went through, having things, I don't know, but I don't really have a lot of feelings, so that's why I don't cherish it. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then I go somewhere, I do a show, and I'll be like, damn, bro, people really love me. Right, right. You know, I go places, bro, and um, they be like, man, you want to do this show? And I'll be like, you know, from the success we've had, I'll be like, man, I ain't really trying to do no. I'm cool, bro. I feel like it, don't, it ain't no mountain higher than that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's almost, but that's selfish, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't did shows that was small and intimate, and people were like, bro, that was the best, bro. That was the, you know what I'm saying? Like these people feed your family, bro. So you do a show whether it's a stadium, you do it whether it's 
uh, arena, whether it's a club, that people tell you, I done been to house parties, bro. They like, bro, they look up like, bro, is this Huss, bro, in Nevada? Right, right, is this right. Huss and Conquer, bro? I'm tripping. Man, what about when you was little kids, bro? You were so stage. It bro. was my kids. <laughs> it was my kids. Man, bye, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we was we was gigging, man. Yeah, bro. But guess what? People thought that's nothing. The internet. I hate to break your heart about it. That was not a school. Okay. It was a sneaker convention. That's hard. That's and hard. and I dabbled with the whole internet beast, right? Uh-huh. They said, bro, this clip, bro, is going crazy. It's going crazy. Somebody, pa- I can't remember, but it started. I said, bro, where's all these followers and right. comment? What the fuck is going on? You viral, baby. Right. I said, wow. So I said, they said, bro, you might as well go and run with it. I said, man, nah, bro. I, I don't want to cap like that, bro. Right. I said, fuck it. First day of school is lit. It boy, it went, it was a whole, bro, you was at the kid. It, it was not a school. Right, right, right. It was right, not right. a school. And it was a sneaker convention. It looked, it was, it was like So a, you do know how to do the internet. I was advised. They advised uh, me to do it. I well, I was right. dabbling. I, I mean, you, you dabbling. You yeah, dabbling. Sure. You know, I mean, I learned the, the, the measure to be, but I didn't like that, bro, because it was right. it was like people, what the fuck you doing? What the, you cussing in front of them kids? I'm like, bro, and they're like, they really right, because they, in their mind. But the comments I say is, we was like this, nigga, yeah. when came out, ooh, I seen more happy. I yeah, yeah, see yeah, no yeah, negative yeah. shit, well, honestly. Yeah, it, it was, but it went, it was, that it was, thing yeah. went wild, bro. That For thing sure. went, what, that's like, only one can beat, can't, can beat that is Spinner Man. Remember Spinner Man? Uh, 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 he got a Chevy, shitting on the truck. For, he was rapping uh, with, with the, the kids, with yeah, the rapping yeah, for, rap. sure, for sure. You're selling bricks, for you're breaking sure. down O's. You know? For sure, <laughs> definitely. I, that, that shit was boosty, though. That, yeah, the, what you did, it killed that. Fuck yeah, well, you know, the, fuck you talk about yeah. that that ignorant. You know, we got that. We yeah, we, we go dumb every that go dumb everywhere that Bay Area. Yeah, you know, yeah that, for sure. We going dumb at the church and all. You know, we made it. You know, so but that was that was scary. Me, that scared me though, bro. Because right, it right. went it went crazy. Uh, quick question: That last mm-hmm. song uh, you put out, I think it was a mechanics beat. I'm not sure you shot a video for it. About my money? Yeah, no, 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 not that. I'll take it back. It's like you was going to war. Like you was a tactical, you had some shit, right? You talking about um, you talking about protect your soul. That one, that one. See, well, you still have that type of. You feel me? Well, like, listen, that's. I'm glad you said that, bro. You a great host, bro. I, uh-huh. You know what I mean? I'm I'm a, I'm a commend you on that. You a great host, bro. And I'm glad. I'm very happy I came here, bro. Uh-huh. I just want to let you know that I'm very happy, bro. Like on some sincere, you know what I'm saying? Right. From, on some real talk, bro. Not on no trying to be cool, bro. I'm happy I came and talked to you, bro. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? It, it feel real good, bro. You know what I'm saying? But to be able to get my, you know what I'm saying, my thoughts and what I want to do and, you know what I mean, my intentions, set my intentions. I'm doing a lot towards the people. I'm glad, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I made it. We It worked. You know, a lot's the best planner. You know what I'm sure. saying? Um, if you really look at my last five years of music, bro, what did I tell you? Protect your soul. Yes, sir. Don't die. Do you feel? All this stuff, bro, is 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 trying to mold you into greatness. People don't trip on that. Right. You know? The real that's a lot of real fans are like, bro, we in love with everything you doing. But as far as that mass appeal, people are like, man, I just ain't putting nothing out because you didn't want to hear a song called Don't Die. You didn't want to hear a song called Protect Your Soul. You don't want to hear a song, you know what I'm saying, uh, about self-preservation and, 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 and what really matter. And, it's, and you didn't want to hear that, so you didn't look for that. It didn't hit your radar. Right. But Humping did. Right. 415's Humping, that you heard that one. You know what I'm saying? About my money, man. Check that bitch. You heard all that. You know what I'm saying? You you know what I'm saying? You you heard that because that's what you wanted from me. You know what I'm saying? But this nutrition, it went right by you. You you couldn't digest the nutrition. It was too wholesome for you. You want that? You wanted them mambas, nigga. You want that motherfucking? You want them motherfucking? uh, What the candies they got now? I'm talking about mambas. You can tell I'm old. I eat mambas. That's what I eat. My favorite candy in the world. What are you talking about? Hey, give me the boy. Mambas go crazy. Live argument. Packs and packs of the motherfuckers. I used to wonder if they had pork or not. I was like, man, stop fly, please don't have pork in it. But but whatever. They want that. They don't want that. You know what I'm saying? That 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 she legit. They don't want that. all that. What's all the different, you know what I'm saying? The right. burdock root and all these different. They don't want that. Yeah. Right, not right. saying they don't want it, but it's like it's they walk right by it because it ain't got no colorful stuff on it. You know what I'm saying? It's not doing this to you. So I've been I've been kind of like making music that's like real ones. Cause that shit still do numbers. Yeah, it do, it do numbers. It, do, it still do. Now everything be doing a million and shit like that. That's why people are like, bro, why you just don't do more of those? I'm just like, bro, 
I got to figure out um, how to do a balance, bro, to where I feel good about what I'm doing, bro. Do you because, got a home studio? Uh, Nope. I ain't got Probably no studio or nothing. Yeah, I ain't got no studio. I don't even know how to use equipment no more, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. It was crazy. I NPC. I'm old school. I'm from the NPC era. I never forget that. You know what I'm saying? I'm an NPC cat. But um, we had a lab, boy. Me and my little bro had a lab, bro. I got a little brother. Shout out my brother over there. He's sitting over there right there. Camera right there. I can. You feel me, Brody? Oh, okay. I'm just. You know what I mean? My bro. They. 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 Uh. They pushed me towards it again. Like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Let's go crazy. Let's do it again, and once again, I don't want to do too much talking, but you know, the trapping and all, you know what I mean? I don't even want to do whatever, you know what I mean? You know what I'm back. Take it back, man. Just a tweak on you that did? a little bit. <laughs> it's a privilege. Just, just tweak on that. Uh, your boy over there who pooped Javi, and you like, they push you back into the shit. My people pooped Javi, and if it wasn't for them, I tell people, like Taj, I tell people all the time, like, man, I, I probably would have been. And, like, and you see how they go? These yeah, are people, we from different cultural backgrounds, yeah, and we, I'm a Muslim. You know, they funk. And we, I, them, it's my brothers, bro. They're my sure. brothers, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Shout out my sure. other Muslim brother, too. We ain't going to leave him out, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know what I mean? We, 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 you know, they, they, cause they, they remember. And these are people that was youngsters, bro, that used to be like, bro, I was the kid passing out your, right. you know what I'm saying? This man grew into a real solid man. And he's like, bro, I ain't going to lie, bro. You, you need to do this, bro. You, you bullshitting, bro. And you make an excuse, you know what I'm saying? Because you got time. Don't act like you don't, you know what I'm saying? Right. Use God gift for him, take it from you. Um, I believe that. You know why? I I hesitated because I didn't neglect it so much. So much of these gifts I didn't neglect it, and they still there, bro. Sure. So that's how I know I'm doing a lot. Lost my dollar is the greatest, bro, because I didn't neglect it so much. It's a lot of reasons why um I have confirmation as far as the greatness of the creator, because uh, I'm going to tell you a story about this. I've never said nothing about this. The day that I took a trip one time, right, to the Midwest, and I woke up, and, and one of my folks was like, bro, you want to you wanna, uh, bust a move? You feel like busting a move? And I'm like, mm. I'm sitting over here with a, you know what I mean, bag of money. I got a nice looking lady with me at the time. I was, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I almost like I made it. I'm feeling like I made it. We got the lab, you know what I'm saying? We chilling, me and Jack, we got the tilt. All the pretty ladies come visit us, you know what I mean? Jack think he a bartender, you know what I mean? We in there having fun. You know, we on some player time, bro. And I'm like, yeah, I think, you know what? I'll take a trip, you know what I'm saying? Because I got a nice little, you know what I mean? I got something out there that I want to go, you know, do or whatever. And I was like, I'm going to take the trip. And I just, I said, all right. And it's like, okay, the flight got delayed. So I'm like, damn, the flight got delayed. I get to the airport. And I'm like, all right, what well, a flight delay. Damn, I got to sit at the airport for two hours, bro. That's crazy. So I'm in there like this, and I start feeling kind of sick, right? And I'm like, man, I feel kind of, I got a funny feeling, bro. What is this? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, I, I slept. I, you know what I'm saying? I ate. I, and it ain't no cold flu or nothing because it's just, it's, it's, it just came on. So I'm like, all right. And I just kind of nodded out. I don't sleep. People tell you about me, bro. I don't sleep. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't sleep, bro. I take drives. I can drive from here to, you know what I mean. I used to drive, bro, states, bro, with, with, you know what I mean. You seen it, you seen the document, you seen the cases, kind of shit I was into, and with, and don't sleep. I don't sleep on the road because I'm so militant. I'm so I don't want nothing to happen. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm the one that got to drive. You know what I mean? Y'all smoke and drink and sip. You know what I'm saying? I'm the I'm the protector, bro. I'm a drive, so I don't sleep. This day, bro, I nodded off, bro, and just kind of like, I felt so sick. I just nodded off. So I was like, okay, two flight delays. We get on the plane. We finally get on the plane. We land where we land. You know what I'm saying? We in the Midwest. When we land, you know, the the, the Plizug, they like, you know, get a rental car. But make sure it's this kind of car. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm 18 years old, whatever. I got a guy with me. You know what I mean? He went, you know, he went bad, whatever. But, you know, God bless. He's no longer here. Like I said, a lot of those people are dead. But I don't want to speak on dead no matter what he did because he still got family and they they don't know the situation. And I don't that's why I don't put people out and that's another reason why I don't whoop de whoop did this and told on what? Right. They got family, bro. That man is dead. He paid the you know what I mean? Whatever happened, he's no longer here, bro. What I look like hurting his family for what his deeds. You know what I'm saying? I got compared. I'm I I believe in doing good, bro. This man might got a daughter. I don't know. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? And somebody on the internet talking about his daddy or something. You know what I'm saying? So I don't do that. That's another reason I never spoke on a lot of stuff. But back to the story. We get there. 
We get the rental car, you know what I'm saying? The plizzug and then pull up. They're like, okay. And we like, we get to the house. We get to the house, right? I go in there. It's full of, you know, we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to say too much, but it's there. And um, he said, all right, we finna, we finna, um, we finna get, you know, get it ready, bro. You know what I mean? They go in the garage. They like, it's the wrong whip. So I'm like, damn. So they got to go back. And we, we talking about landing at noon. Now it's like two or three. Right, right. Go back and get another whip. Come back. Okay, this is the right whip. This got this this is what we looking for. A certain I don't want to give up the game on what people do, but it's some of it's qualities about this car that this is what we this is our preference. So they do what they do. They need another, there's another piece of there's another apparatus that is involved in this process of of of, of whatever we doing. Right, right, right. That breaks. So I'm like, damn, that broke? They like, man, we can't do this because this is broke. You know what I mean? So I'm like, man, I'm in here with all these. I'm in here with some, like, you know, these are serious people, bro. These are Pisces, and I don't know these people. They're grown men. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I've don't. i never met a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? It's a couple of them. I know that I, you know, somebody said, this is the guy you're supposed to pull up with. So I, I know him that far. You know what I'm saying? Where it's all trust. I'm in these people's staff. They trust in me because it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot going on there as well. And uh, I'm like, damn, that broke. So the car, the flights, the, the, the you know, whatever they need to do to do what, that's broke. So they say, all right, finally. We got to go to, to the store and get a, you know what I mean, whatever. This is something we need to do something. Finally, they get that going. They get it on there. Everything, you know what I'm saying? We tuck. We ready, baby. It's time to you feel me. It's your spill now. I start feeling it like, bro, what is this feeling? It feels, it's, someone's just pulling me down, bro. Like a, you know, you know, they're talking about how you got organs, right. different organs in your body that, uh, you know, there's known organs and there's organs in your torso. It's the same organ. If I if I walk up to you and I say, blood, bro, you my nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got something up for you, bro. It's a little move, bro. It's like a little 30 band move, bro. You like, what you mean? I like, man, somebody wanna, you know what I mean? They wanna, they wanna, you know what I mean? They want some music, whatever. And you're like, bro, hush, just put me up with a 30. That feel you're gonna feel elation. You're gonna feel light. You're gonna feel real like, man, I just got a call for 30 bands, bro, right. for nothing, for rapping, boy. I'm you're gonna feel good about it. That same organ is what's responsible for all your, you know, your it can it's it's like another brain basically. It's all through your torso. It's like that's why they say sick to my stomach, or you get some good news, you feel energetic. You know, you hear something that you don't like, you arguing with your baby mama, you feel drained, like man, this shit got me. It can it's it's you know your torso what butterflies and shit. It, all that, all that stuff. So that that I don't know if it was that organ intuition. I believe it was the creator, bro. It was pulling me down the whole time, bro. And I got through that night. I got through. Was that the night I ended up we getting got back? But whatever it is, I felt that every time. That's why I said, "Boy, God, real, bro." Like you know, because you always, you know, people. The word hope is not as powerful as people think it is. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong; it's this form of faith, you know, and it can be changed. A certain it could be it could be uh, hope can be taken in many different ways, but a hope also has a level of doubt. So if you hope that God is great. That's you know what I'm saying. That's, that's not as powerful as I know that God is great, or I know I'm gonna make it. I hope I make it, you know, with the power of God, like or saying, you know what, by the power of the Creator. But I know I'm a, you know what I mean. I know that you know what I'm saying, and it, I know I'm talking about a lot of religion and going to, you know what I mean, going in. But I had confirmation that it was a higher power at that moment, and that's for all my Muslims out there, or or, or Christians, or Jews, or whatever, you know, whatever, you whatever you is, uh, Israelites, Moorish, you know what I'm saying, whatever y'all is, it's a lot of uh, that. Listen to your listen to that intuition, bro, because it's real. And that's I, I I was like I knew I was like I'm on a path where I'm gonna pay in the end for something because this is very wicked what I'm doing. And it was and I had a sign from the creator to try to. It was like a physical, bro, like this, bro. Like what are you doing? Like, it was yeah. like, bro, it tried to. You know what I'm saying? Like it was stopping the plane from going. It was breaking. It's like man, I'm like what kind of? Whoo! My energy is this. Huh? Ooh, that energy, that universe was. I said, bro, it's trying to. And I'm like, bro. Even right now, bro, I'm talk I'm talking to you about stuff I ain't never talked about. It's it's a vulnerability right now for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not used to talking about nothing, bro. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not used to talking about nothing, bro. I ain't go to jail for talking. I don't. I don't. Everybody know on the street. I, bro, Hus ain't doing no talking, bro. I'm out the gate, bro. I'm a, I'm gonna get on, brody. You know what I'm saying? And everybody know that about me. Anybody that know me know, bro. Hus gonna get on, bro. And he big, bro. And he'll beat your motherfucking ass, bro. Straight. I know you might. You be calling this or do this. You can't fuck with him. You know what I mean? But that don't we that's a whole nother story. I'm just I'm telling you, telling you my truth, you feel me? Um 
But yeah, I knew I was like, yeah, I'm 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 a servant of the creator, bro. So I gotta I gotta figure something out, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, but I kept on with the thugging and I kept on with the gangster business and I kept on with the hustling and I paid my price and you know what I'm saying, got took away from my family and you know what I'm saying, lost love, lost friends, you know what I'm saying, and you know, came home, people wasn't alive no more, it was all kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm doing a lot. I got to spend a lot of time with Jack when I came home. You know right. what I'm saying? I was there for him until his transition to Jenna, inshallah. You know what I'm saying? And the other creator, bless him. You know what I'm saying? And have him amongst the, the you know, he be amongst the creator in his afterlife and, and raise him, you know, into a higher, you know, because he did a lot of good. But, you know, I knew that. I was like, okay, bro. You know, it's only so long you can, you can ignore what you are, bro. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? You're not just no gangster. You're not just no... Motherfucker had to slap the fuck out of a sucker. You know what I'm saying? You, right. you got, you were powerful, just like you told me, bro. You said, bro, you, you, you more than what you think you is, bro. You, not what I think, but you more than what you act. On. Don't do that, bro. Don't resort to nothing, bro. Don't, don't, don't do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, jokes is jokes and all that. It is what it is. And like I said, bro, I'm not finna sit here and you know we gonna keep going circles and circles about it. But that's kind of where we at with it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, um. I definitely appreciate you, nigga. And we ain't definitely about to keep uh, circling, circling about yeah, yeah. the rigmarole. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. nah, it's love, bro. I appreciate it, mm -hmm. um, nigga. We gonna figure it out like this. Hopefully, this is only one of many. You feel? Oh me? yeah, for sure. And man. what I mean by that is like, nigga, we gotta sit down and tweak on how you was telling me how it's it's pure water and how the bushes had bought like a, a, a island or something in a day. Oh like, y'all yeah, man, yeah, ooh, like, nah. you gotta we really gotta tweak, bro. Like, I'm scared of the really conspiracies. Gotta, I'm scared of the tweak. <laughs> we really gotta tweak. This nigga yeah. a tweaker, but you feel me? I love that type of tweak. Yeah, like, okay, okay. You, you like that kind of stuff. I yeah. love it. Like, yeah. no, I love it. Like, bro, I really love it. But yeah, it's love, bro. I appreciate it, nigga. You feel me? And like I said, Protect your peace, protect your energy, bro. And we just gonna keep this shit rolling. We not letting this twenty twenty four. We not letting that no. Yeah, yeah, we gonna we you gonna yeah, we gonna, energy. Yeah, we off the porch, brody. We off. We 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 moving with it. You know what I'm saying? And that's saying, like you said, that lion hearted mentality, that lion hearted energy. We gonna put it toward what need to be. That's yes, right. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you uh, invite me here a long time ago. And, uh, you know, I'm thankful for this. Dude. Everything manifested the way it manifested. Sure. And I truly believe that a lot of these jewels will land somewhere. Definitely. Anything I said incorrect is from me. Anything I said that's helpful or or or, or correct is from the creator. Right. Anything I said righteous or powerful is from the creator. Anything I said of error or harmful is is, is from me, bro. So, don't, you know what I'm saying? As far as... Uh, um, Leading people or guiding people, you know what I'm saying. I don't sure. want y'all to take nothing out of this, and 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 and, and you know it'd be a it be Twisted a the tangle. it turn. I don't want not even I don't even want y'all to take the gangster shit and all that. I'm not glorifying nothing, bro. Everything I said correct is from the creator, bro. And anything I made an error of is from me. You know what I'm saying? Because you know all powers to you know you dig what I'm saying. Yes, yeah, sir. So I got to give it up to that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my little cutty little Buddha too. He was like, he like, bro, call me when you get up there, mate, so I can get, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm like, I say, bro, it ain't really that kind of thing. Little Buddha boo. I yeah, had to I shout you out, bro. You know what I mean? Because I love, yeah, he, he's one of my young ones that's down for a long, a lot of stuff going on with, you know, he's in, a, he's in up under the situation. Right. Uh, you know, shout out to him, bro, little Dapper Dow, you know what I'm saying? So I got so many young, young soldiers, Good bro, man. that was like me, bro, that, that I wished I could have, you know, had a situation for him where they didn't have to end up where they ended. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. My big bro, you know what I'm saying? I don't sure a bro when me say his name, but I got my brother that's fresh out. Love you, Brody. You know what I'm saying? I just talked to him, right, bro? Yeah, exactly. Okay. You've been a, you've been a, you've been a, you've been a rock for me before, more than you know, bro. You've been, I've been living off your guidance and a lot of your, uh, your uh, protocol, bro. When you long while you was in prison for many years, he just did over two decades. You feel me? I'm like, brody, I was. You, you mean more to me than you know, bro. So I shout out my brody, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do too many names like that, but shout out my brody. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Pittsburgh. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Oakland, Richmond. Yeah, I mean, we gonna keep. We, we can do that all day. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We did. We gave the town there. It's y'all town nigga. The town nigga. We gave y'all there. So we ain't gonna keep yes, this going back to the town. But yeah, bro. Shout out to all the. This 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 the put hub. this fire yeah hub. the whole hood bro the umbrella the whole umbrella bro let's 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 put this shit together bro and let's do something buddy I'm here bro yes sir you know what I'm saying all my resources on deck let's get it bro I'm right here bro y'all heard that nigga.
Fuck you talking about, nigga. Hus back. Nigga, Lil Blood bought this nigga out of retirement, nigga. Fuck all you niggas, right? He about to sign the HMR Tiger Media. Lil, this nigga about to do his own podcast, nigga. This nigga about to be fishing, nigga, in 20 degree uh, weather, yeah, nigga, I mean, by yourself. We're going to with with the, we start with the music. All right, okay. We'll and then we're going to, um, we might, but he putting it into the universe, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Stay retired. But, uh, <laughs> I love, bro. Salam alaikum, sir. Salam alaikum, love, bro. Yeah. Bye.